Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain. But you feel it. That there's something wrong. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Like a splinter in your mind. Driving you mad. Do you want to know what it is? You can feel it when you go to work. When you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Unfortunately, no one can be told. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, again, the burden of proof is still on him. We didn't hear anything about proving it as sin. We heard a bunch of quotations of scripture that had nothing to do with Genesis whatsoever at all. You know, it's amazing. Moshe, who actually wrote the Genesis account, if he understood that to be one man, one wife, then in function, he didn't practice it that way, did he? This is the custodian of the law. Who married a Midianite? Who married a Cushite? And if you want the other verse to show that Moses had three, Judges 116 way, he was also, he had married a Kenite. So you see, I hear a lot of things, but I still don't, don't I, did, I don't hear anything backing up the Genesis account. And then another thing. So are we assuming from the Genesis 2.24 account? Because see, I believe in staying streamlined. I believe in sticking with the program. So if we're going to say that Genesis 2.24 uh, is exclusively one, one man, one wife, then that means we get no spares. Nobody gets any spares. So i like for him to answer. Are we to understand? Because he's definitely proud of having this one wife. So that means he gets no spares. We get no spares. You get no spares. Abraham gets no spares. 
Nobody gets any spares. So if all these people had spares, um, I would like to know what the condemnation is. That's what I want to hear. Because again, it's very simple. Tell you what, let's add a little bit more to this. Let's add a little bit more to this. And let's talk about the uh, census of Israel. No, we'll do that a little bit later. We'll just wet it a little bit later, all right? Do it in a census of Israel. We'll get to that. You see, we're dealing with facts here. Not assumptions, not assertions. We're literally dealing with facts. Not assertions. We're literally dealing with facts here. Abraham, the friend of Yah, will repeat it again, just in case there's some hard of hearing here. Abraham had three wives and concubines. And you will see him in the kingdom. You will see Moses in the kingdom. You will see David in the kingdom. He calls them weak cowards. I don't think he's going to be there to say that to him if they're faith. That's pretty bold. And that's bold beyond belief. But that's not a bold in a righteous sense. That's bold just like the Hasatan would be. Because he speaks with a forked tongue. A serpent's tongue. And to say that Abraham was a coward. The very friend of God. And to say that Dawid is a coward. A man treated after his own heart. I've never heard y'all say anything about him. None whatsoever at all. So, sticking with the program, where's the condemnation? Where's the law that says that a man having more than one wife is sin? <laughs> Pastor, I don't know if this uh, question is appropriate, but in the community, is it one wife, one husband? No. In some communities, it is. We don't, if, if a man has one wife and that's the way he wants, he's content, fine. Good. I got three. And I take care of all of them. Food, clothing, conjugal rights. That ain't an inappropriate question. There's no elephant in the room. There ain't one question I won't answer or tackle. I'm not like the rest of these people hide behind a certain way they want people to think that they are. Now I ask you a question. Is it more honorable for a man to be able to take care of a woman? Or is it more honorable for a man to have two or three hundreds and the other ones they don't know about each other or if they do know about each other, they don't say nothing. Because my, my three are close-knit. I've already, y'all see my debate on biblical polygyny? I told this guy up. Rip it off. It, it wasn't even a debate. It was a small one. A little small. So we have people that sing well. Matter of fact, I said in the beginning that when you when we went this way, we started this way. Less than five percent of the people would pr pr uh, participate in religion. And is it not home true? We only have in the whole of all this going. We don't have more maybe twelve religious families. Now religious families are coming to the ministry. Because they can't find another place out there to actually go to. So I got three Ashias. And guess what? They all love me. They all say, what a beautiful, honorable man you are. <laughs> what a good man you are. Uh-huh. And then, and then, and then my, my wife I've been married to for like 36 years. Something like that. They all rise up and call her blessed. Sister Carol got her own beauty product business. I mean, it ain't no makeup or nothing like that, but I mean, she she got a knife. You got some Carol L? Here she go, well, I got some Carol L. <laughs> you can learn all this on my website and stuff. I mean, we got a dang good thing going. So no, it's not mandatory <laughs> for a man to have more than one Ishaya. It's not. Anybody else? This is where the blessing of religion comes in. To so have an Ashaya that's 27 years old, 147 years old, and then 152. So if you have two people that's 80 years old and neither one of them can walk and take care of themselves, they can't even bathe themselves. Are you following me? Let's say if I get old, I'm going to get old hopefully. Are you following me? And I got a wife the same age I am. She's not going to have the strength to be able to move me around. But the other one will. At the community, we have all these people because we grew up and they've been around us so long, 20-something years, everybody loves them. And so the sisters absorb that and they have to take care of them. 
They feed them, they bathe them, they wash them, and then guess what? When they die, guess what? We bury the people on our community. Guess who digs the hole? Guess who makes the, the vault? Down now we got speakers. That's what I was checking. I wanted to make sure we had speakers. So now let me go back. I want to make sure that we're good. So I do apologize, but I knew we was having some issue with the speaker. So I want to make sure. That, um, let me see. And let me see. I do apologize. Yep. Yep. We do have speakers. <clears throat> so we want to look at Mr. Don. We want to look at Mr. Don because Moses, 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 why are they lying on you? See, today we we we're gonna find out a lot of things I normally don't do out in the front that I normally do and say for back areas or where I will speak against where I go with um I deal a lot with uh, uh Jewish type people. Because they, they actually look at this subject a lot closer also. But Mr. Donald clearly lied on Moses. <clears throat> clearly lied on Abraham, Jacob, Solomon, including David. So I, I, I even received some emails and posts that, that, that Mr. Donald would not even entertain this. However, I emailed him. I posted comments to him directly. It never was a response to me. However, again... This is not an attack to him per se, but this is an attack about his doctrine that he teaches. And the doctrine that teaches is caused people to lie on my forefathers. So I will be addressing the challenge that he uh, having multiple wives. According to precepts, and prove to you that the precepts and the doctrine of the Bible that men conjure up to deceive women to satisfy their lustly flesh. Clear. We're going to be completely clear. And I'm going to address two main issues because both of them are kind of complex. So I'm going to bring this out to where you're going to see the complexity in that Moses was married to one wife as Abraham. And you're going to see they was like that until the end. We're going to find that out. And I'm going to show you this and we're going to see by scripture and learn how people like to do other things. So if these people, so-called men of God, that teach you that they can have multiple wives. I'm going to say this again. Any man teaching you that they can have multiple wives, and then they lying on Abraham, and they want to show you men, an example of men doing it, and they fooling women doing it, they are not men of God, number one. These are people who is looking to deceive you for lust of their flesh. You cannot find nowhere in the Bible that they are to have more than one wife. See, they'll tell you, saying they don't show in the Bible where it says you cannot have multiple wives. See, even as Donald said, he said he needs spares. <laughs> he needs he need spares. And, 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 and what our sisters come down to is now, they're no longer where they want to call them out of their name. Now, they spares if it's broken i need to find a, a spare how, how 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 much sense did that make that you need a spare 
when, when Isaac, wife, I guess that you want to call it, when she was broken, that they say, what did he do? Well, look at that. And it says in Isaac 25, 21, it says, Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. So she was, I guess, broken and he entreated to the Lord because she was barren. But let's find out what entreated is. See, because entreated just saying that he prayed to the Most High. He prayed to the Most High for his wife to bear a child. Now, if he don't know what that means, we got to show that how that works. See, because even in Exodus, it tells you, and Moses said to Pharaoh, glory over me. When shall I entreat? When shall I pray for thee and for thy servants and for thy people to destroy the frogs from, the, from thee and from thy houses? That may remain in the river only. So entreat don't mean nothing but to pray. So when he entreated, this is what was going on. But I guess he entreat and what he is looking for and what he want to go through is something different. See, because when Moses came and you don't see what Moses said, you, uh, do we have any spares or anything talking about these children or anything such as that is what we're talking about. But something going wrong. So we have some that's in the community of responsibility. And then what they want to do when they want to call themselves and these people get old or whatever. So now they're sitting there, they're marrying people based on ages. So when they come up, then they can take care of them when they're old. Now, they didn't sign up for that. They signed up for a husband and then they'll grow old together. However, he's putting the, the, the silhouette picture in the back to where he got to have spares so when he get older, he can have a younger one that can care for him. See, this is the problem. This is the community that's being built up. Same as the Most High God called uh, Moses. You know, he, he, he talked to him face to face. He talked to him differently than he talked to anybody else in the Bible. He called Abraham his friend. However, we have people... And what they have done, however, they call Dial, who they who goes by Pastor Dial over the web, they give him this carnal award called Man of the Year. So they still went completely carnal, which they didn't change. So it's no different than doing anything than the Mac. It's because because he he won the Pimp of the Year award. So you have a Man of the Year, you have Pimp of the Year, you have Sexiest man of the year, you have sexiest woman of the year, you have player of the year, you have most valuable player of the year. So you have all these things that is carnal that's going down. And then they and, and they tied up to where this this Hebrew to Negroes where they use this great awakening for uh this 2019. See, and the most high God don't do such a thing. See, if you just a tiller of the word, you just a tiller of the word. It's not no man of the year or thinking you did something that's better than anybody else. Because anybody that's teaching truth, we are no better than the next man. We all out there just putting their, putting out truth. That's all we're doing. However, they got a man of the year based on, and he got three wives, so he must be doing things. So he doing things that's really good. But the main thing we got to watch because you got these same people who's doing this, who's holding on to this, is like your Ronald Dalton Jr.'s, the Hebrews and Negroes Lion movie. You have your your dials. You have the guy for spiritual combat, the, the guy who uh, I believe it's called his name, Michael Israel. See, these are people who holds on to this ideology. This is what you have to watch. So just like the scriptures, and they'll use them incorrectly because they, act, they literally don't precept them at all. But for their own lustful flesh is what they do towards women. So if anyone speak against them, then they say this Michael Israel liked to go to his spiritual combat. Then he wants to sit there and call people wicked and all these things. In fact, the Michael Israel guy said that women that straightway knows their place. Cave man thoughts, thoughts of pattern, basically what he's saying. So he's welcome also. To show otherwise precepts, he's more than welcome to come here, and I'll be more than welcome to come to his site. And, 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 and see, 
but we're going to run precepts. We're not going to sit here and run ideology. And he can bring his um, uh, the Dalton and all them people that he want to bring with him. I'm fine with that also. However, you have men believing in silliness that all women should submit themselves to them, and they believe that these type of gods in that swarm of faith. But as Moses has said, even what Christ was talking about on what we're supposed to be doing, on how everything actually works. Because even in Corinthians, it tells you, it says, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but profit many that may be saved, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. See, this is what the Bible says. This is the Bible. But we have people using stupidity the other way around. See, this is the problem. This is the problem. So we got to dig into this. And, and, and most people saying, well, I just want to get to the point for what we're going to do. We're going to walk through, get complete understanding. See, because here we don't we don't just run into it. I got to give you understanding then what it is. See, because some people just say, I just want this. No, I got to show you the reasons on things that's happening to where we can understand. And see, and why, and why we got in so much trouble the first time is why the Most High wants to do something to us. Because we're going to look at some of this and we're going to see what happened. It says, and the Lord said to Moses, get thee down from thy people, which that have brought out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. Really, you see, the Most High God in Christ at this time spoke and commanded Moses to get down because the people have brought out of Egypt have corrupted them. So we turn on a dime. Anything that is small, we turn on a dime and corrupt ourselves. Why? Because the same silliness that we do back then, we're doing today. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them, and they have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed unto uh, their uh, thereunto and said, "These be the gods, O Israel, which have brought us up out of the land of Egypt." They just made them. They just made them, but now they saying, "Well, I'm, hey, let's go make these." Now these are the ones brought it out. They wouldn't even. They just made it. The first thing we want to do is make something, and people love to just say and believe something as soon as they do it. Faith and works together. Made what? A calf. Works. What? Worshipped it and did what? Sacrifice to it. Not only that, what else did they do? They made it the stupidest statement one can make. These be the gods O Israel, we're not done even yet. God's what brought us up out of bondage. Did not, <laughs> and they made them. But soon forgot how quick the Most High was even talking to them. And he said that ye sacrifice unto any God, he that sacrifice unto any God, save unto the Lord, ye shall utterly you shall be utterly destroyed. What's the most high God saying? He that sacrificed unto any God, save me only, only unto the Lord, only, because that's how he's repeating it, ye shall utterly destroy. He's not playing around with you. Meaning what? For I am the Lord, that is my name and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praise to grieving images. And that's what they have done. This is what they have done and this is what they do. This is what we have to understand and how we do it. So he said, I am the Lord, that is his name, his glory, he will not give it to another. Meaning what? And neither worship, praising, gr grieving images. However, we have made sacrifices unto it, worshiped it. And made statements that these be the guys that took us out of bondage. Why? Because we're stiff-necked, stubborn people and get caught up into ourselves and we make our own gods. So this is why Yahweh said, When there ye for see the abominations of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place so whosoever read it, let him understand. 
See, problems are coming out, come, is coming. Why? See, the problem's going to come. Why? Why are they going to come? Main reason why, for the mystery of iniquity, do it already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out the way. Why? Because we let these lies and we let people pour lies into us and we keep leaning to our own understanding. He says, lean not to your understanding, but we lean to our understanding because these fools will sit there and talk this silliness and start believing it. They'll talk this silliness and start believing it. Why? Because this is what we do. So, these men like to be gods and do different things. So when they're using images of men and making themselves being God. This is part of the problem. This is part of the problem. So how can we work this out? Because the mystery of iniquity already do it to work. So we use God, but he's telling you we need to look here of what God is talking about. See, because he says some things that we really need to understand what was going on all the time. All the time. Meaning what? He says this, only you have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. So he's going to punish us for our iniquity because this is what we do. Israel. This is what we do. No other nation, he's married to Israel. He makes himself clear. People have an issue with this. But he makes himself clear. And he's going to tell you clear as day. He ain't talking about the world. Watch this. He says, turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord. For I am married unto you, and I will, make, I will take one of you of a city and two of a family and bring you to Zion. So the Most High God is He He only knows us. He's married to us only. So we need to find out what's going on. We need to understand how all this works. So if He's only married to one person, you have people saying, which we're going to find direct scripture to validate Moses and validate Abraham. So we are created in a, an exact copy in appearance and resemblance to him. Meaning what? We're in the likeness, similarity, similar to everything you want to look at in the image. So the example in the exact same way that you see when you look at this right here. It says, and God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over all the fowls of the air and over all the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So if he's saying this and he's making this clear, he's telling you a couple of things. So we are created in his exact image, period, in the appearance, the oneness of God. So if we're in that appearance, then we got to understand what he's talking about. So we are the exact copy of the portrait in appearance and resemblance, meaning what? We have the likeness, similarity, similitude, as I just said, in the image of God. And he said, now we're going to make a whole bunch of images. So we have to understand between the two. So other ones, you're going to talk about the doctrine of whoredom and having many wives, but the mind of reasoning is nothing but that of a dog. Why? Because I'm going to repeat this verse again. He says, turn back, O backsliding children. He said to the Lord, I am married unto you and will take one of a city, one of, one, one of a city, two of a family, and bring you unto Zion. Why? Because he, he's tired of playing. So we want to show you just the oneness before we go into it. That's why I said, I want to take you down through the path and show you how he's dealing with one all the time. And then we're going to deal with them because he's saying things, but they said he's not saying this because they want to keep referencing you to a man. Meaning what? Let's look at this. Let's go to Uncle Idris. He says, O oh Lord, thou bearest root of every wood of the earth. Think about it. Every wood of the earth and all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen the one only vine. Do he say, and okay, out of all the trees of the earth, he chose one. Did he say 
and I got some spares if this one don't work out. Did he say this got some spares if it don't work out? No, it don't say that. It says of all the trees, all the woods of the earth, and now it chosen one. So when you want to look at it better, you have more than 60,000, 6,500 trees, different types of trees in the world. And he said he chose one body. Why? Because he's saying, he's letting you know clearly he's not a whore. He's not a whore. Let's go a little bit deeper. And of all the lands of the whole earth, thou hast chosen the one pit. See, we, we come out of a pit. And of all the flowers, there are one lily. So, you tell me. Of all the countries and everything that we're looking at, we're looking at 247 different countries in this world. The Most High God has chosen one pit, which is used as a means of a pit. So we, we need to understand what a pit means. But a pit is nothing but a depression part of the earth, which are brought up out of. So the flowers of the earth, again, is an estimate, which is still, they say, is more than 400,000 different types of flowers. And he's telling you he chose one lily. No spares. Just keep that in mind. Just, just keep that in mind as we go. One lily, no spares. And most people can go in their front yard and see many different types of flowers in some people's own yards. And the most high God said he chose one. But let's get a, let's get a little bit deeper. It says, and of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled the one. No spares. None. One. You know, all the built cities, thou have hollowed Zion unto thyself. Zion is not the number but Israel. What's going on? See, this is the problem that they want to have. This is the issue that's going on. So when we sit there and, and people want to talk this, this, this is trash and talk about one thing, they, they sit there and see one thing. See, and even see how this one pit even works. Let's look at Genesis 37, uh, 22. It says, Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into the pit, into the wilderness, and laid no hand upon him that he might rid him out of, out of their hands and deliver him into his father again. See, this is how they want to look at this whole entire subject. But what was going on? They put him in the pit, same thing that we put in. We put in a pit that we be in a container being held in. So this is what we this is what we this is what we gotta look at. This is what we need to look at. So this is most of the problem that most people see. So what is this talking about? What is it saying? What is and how do we get to understand it? Because he tells you, he brought me up out of the horrible pit, out of the murray clay, and set my feet upon a rock and establish my going. This is what he has done for us. He took us out of this pit when you come to the truth. And we stand up on a rock. But what? Of truth. We established up on the rock of truth. And all the depths that we've been put in just back in 25, all the depths of the sea. So meaning this great abyss that many courses that the, that the sea has. But what about the rivers? See, and they don't even know that even, 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 even with there, we don't know how many rivers there is in the world. None. This is something you can research to the end of time. And right now, the scientists and anyone else these logistical people who do all these researches, they cannot tell you how many rivers it is in the world at all. 
And he's telling you, out of the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. One. One river. One. And we don't know how many rivers it is. He have established the people. He's letting you know it's one. He's talk, so if he's dealing with one, we have to understand he's talking about one. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. Of all the fowls created, thou hast chosen one dove. And they believe it is more than nine to 10,000 different species of fowl. And he said he named one only dove. One dove. And of all the cattle thou hast made, that have provided the one sheep. So the characteristics and attributes of a sheep in the times and what we have to remember what a sheep is, a sheep is defenseless creatures. And it is influenced to be led. So they also meet. Technically stupid. But to bring you to something else. To bring you to what? Understand what's going on. And among all the multitude of people, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest gave it a law that is approved of all. Really? Yeah, really. So we want to understand what's, what's going on here. This is why it's very key on how we know how these precepts are going to be running, because he shows his word unto Jacob, his statutes, and his judgments unto Israel. So, what is this saying? So he shows the word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. We need to understand that. Let's look at Genesis 49, verse 2. Gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob, Jacob, and hearken unto your father, hearken unto Israel your father. Really? Really? See, this is what we have to understand on how we're dealing with things because he has not dealt so with any nation and as for that judge for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. They ain't nobody else know these. So why we have people sitting out there, what is going on? What is going on? So as we get deeper into this, see, I'm going to tell you, and, and that's why I actually even left that chat open, because I want some of these people who believe in multiple marriages, as we building up to getting into Moses and Abraham, I want them to post in there, because I want them to explain themselves once we start seeing some of these scriptures, and then they find out they didn't know what they was doing. That's why I'm, that's why I'm leaving it open. I leave it open just for that reason alone. Because... This is what the problem is. So we need to find out how it's going to work. So no other nation knew that. But they was taught this by other nations that this stuff would go on. So it goes deeper in as we see this. It says, And the man that, do, that, that, that will do presumptuously and will not hearken unto the priest and standeth to the minister before the Lord thy God, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and thou shalt put away the evil from Israel. But do will do presumptuously, meaning what? He's going to do it ignorantly, one, and willfully, two. And he consciously violating the duties and the commandments of the Father of Heaven. Presumptuously. Ignorantly, willfully, consciously. Presumptuously. This is what they're doing. And, and they're going to perform the duties of their own belief, watching their flesh and not obeying the spirit, and assume and claims one's own belief in unduty to remove the Most High God's probably and will do what he believes he's going to do is right, and it's evil. This is what they're going to do. Meaning what? And all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously. Meaning what? You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be doing stuff that's it's willfully ignorant and consciously violating the most high God's laws. Meaning, meaning what? We get, we're gonna dig down into it because now we're gonna bring it a little bit closer because he says something that was really clear. 
This is one thing he said. He said, but ye should not multiply horses unto himself. Multiply. If you have one, if you have two, that's multiply. One plus one equals two. He said, don't do that. Clear right here. Nor cause the people to return to bondage, Egypt, to the end thou shalt multiply horses. For as much as the Lord hath said unto you, ye should henceforth return no more that way. Because it's silliness. It's silliness. He's making it clear right here. <clears throat> Why? Because this is what they do. So we got to understand kind of what this what, he, what he's talking about. So we're going to break a few things down. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many in, in, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. So we need to know what this is talking about. We need to figure out what this out because this is a negative sense, and the horses mean the same thing in the passage here. So the horses mentioned is the opposite sense, showing one to understand the word, and what the horse is doing is telling you about the truth in the falsified by self reasoning and talking about by the horses. A per better yet, a person's own intelligence in twisting the scriptures. In the passage, showing trusting in their own truth. And made a belief because they cannot look to the God of Israel building up their own doctrine and own holding themselves to his own belief system and multiplying them. That's why Yahweh came in riding in on a coat, a little bitty coat. And men want to ride in on their own intelligence on a horse. Weird, isn't it? But we're going to get a little bit deeper with that. And neither shall he multiply wives. Bingo. One, but we're going to break some other stuff down. Unto himself. That his heart turn not away, neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. See, spiritual talk right there. All spiritual, but multiply wise are talking about these people. What's he doing? To himself. To turn his heart away. Meaning what? Using the senseless intelligence to a belief, the love they use for everything else. See, they love to use this here, and they try to talk about, well, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, Solomon, all these men of God, and, and God didn't say nothing to them. See, this is what they hold. Always make sure you hold them to this. You hold them to this, and we're going to see. See, hold them to it, because the first thing going to come out of his mouth as you seen Dow did, he put right to, he said, Moses, oh, he, he, was, he, he was studious of the law. He, he, he was a man of the law. And he, I see you wasn't doing it. So we got to see this. We got to see this. See, because the Most High said he created it in his own name. And he said, only you have I known of all the families of the earth. This isn't making no sense. Then he also tells us again, turn back on backsliding children. For I'm married unto you. He's saying, I'm married unto y'all. I'm married unto you. So we need to understand what's going on. So we got to understand what's happening. We got to understand exactly what's going on here. Because he's telling you something that's very clear every time. He said, and the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. And that's exactly what we are. Why? Because we sit there and we come up with silliness, and, and literally, they want to be guile women for their fleshly desires. And then you got the Most High God said to Moses, he has seen this stiff-necked people, many of us, Think we're Moses. Why? Because we, we, we'll sit there and say, God told me this. God told me that. And he said to do this. He said to do that. You're nothing but liars. Stop lying like that. Why? Because you're not Moses. He spoke to Moses face to face in that matter. He didn't speak to nobody else like that. And they, well, Lord told me to do this. Lord ain't told you nothing. Let's look at something. Let's look at this and move down into it. It says, and he said, 
Hear now my words. You thank you, Moses. Hear now my words. You thank you, Moses. Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, talking about you, who the Lord told me this, I, the Lord, will speak. I will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. It's clear. If you want to say, this is how he's going to talk to you. And he ain't going to talk to you that how you talking about, well, he, he told me to, to walk down the street and turn left. No, he ain't going to talk to you that way. Because he said, my servant Moses, it is not so. He ain't going to talk to him how he talked to us. That's letting you know right there. Who is faithful in all my house. He don't talk to Moses in, in visions and in dreams. Talk to Moses face to face us vision and a dream. He talked to Moses face to face. Meaning what? Moses ain't having no vision when he was talking to the Most High. Moses wasn't dreaming when he was talking to the Most High. Are we a little bit more clear? See, when he talked to Moses, he's up just like we are. And he's talking to Moses. When he talked to us, we go in a trance or we go into a dreaming state. And then when he talked to us, it's going to be in a dark speech and you got to figure it out. Meaning what? Let's look at this. Peter, while Peter doubted in himself what this vision he has seen should mean. Clear. He has seen the vision of what? Of all manner of four-footed beasts coming down on earth on a, on, on a thing like, like a sheep, including fowls of the air, and a voice came to him telling him what? Rise, Peter, kill and eat. Rise, Peter, kill and eat. And he, what did he tell the Lord? Not so, Lord. I never eaten anything that was common or unclean. Meaning what? See, he said, I never eaten anything that was common or unclean. But meaning what? See, most people are going to take it to the whole side of the carnal state. But what he was saying is, I never sat there and never learned from anyone other than common or, or from another nation. Meaning these men that was brought, that was nothing but Galatians or Grecians that was technically Hellenist. So what did Peter do? He had nothing to do with them because the vision he had seen, he needed to know what it mean. Meaning what? Because he walked with your shine. Meaning what? See, after he said that, all men are unclean beings, because he wanted this man to learn something from him. He wanted this man to eat from him. He So eating don't mean nothing but learning. So he said this. That's why I said, and then it said, behold, the, the man which has sent from Cornelius had made inquiry of Simon's house and stood before the gate. That's why. Because they want they, they want they want these men to learn. That was the most I was saying. Hey, hey, dude, you, you, you gotta teach, you gotta teach these Grecians, because these Grecians ain't nothing but Hellenist Israelites. Not Gentile, they Hellenist Israelites. They think they something else. See, these are the things that we're gonna deal with. So we're gonna look at this, and that, so we have that these people is doing, but we have people who sit there and they run in the New Testament and then they want to call themselves these super scholars and they nothing but New Testament readers, technically all they are. Saying God told them this, God told them that. Technically fools. Fools are the word because they're not understanding the laws of God. So now you got Moses and then they want to talk about Moses. So we're going to find out something, and that's why I want to say it. I want to make sure the chat stays open, because anybody that's in the chat that's chatting, I'm going to make sure you can talk to me personally. That's what I want to make sure. So we want to make sure people, because we're getting ready to get down to the nitty-gritty, so I want to make sure that make sure your, your, your phone and data lines is all paid up, because you guys have lied to women. And I'm going to prove my point. I want you to prove yours. I'm going to show you that you lied on Moses. Because he said he was faithful to Moses. But now y'all trying to say he did something else. See, because as I said, he said, with him I speak mouth to mouth. Not apparently. Not in his vision and dreams. Not in dark speeches. Not in parables. In the similitudes of the Lord, he shall behold. Wherefore, then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? See, that's what y'all did. Y'all was fools. Doing something that you shouldn't have been doing. 
spoke against him, saying he did all these things. He didn't do none of them. See, and then Moses, the way he is, he seek to save your butts. Let's look at this. Let's look at this, and we're going to dig down. And he says, therefore, let me alone that my wrath wax hot against them, that I may consume them, and I will make thee a great nation. Moses still had love for you. He said, Moses, I said, leave me alone so I can, I can, I can, I can burn them up and make a great nation of you, Moses. So meaning what? Many of us, because we don't know which ones it is, that, that chart is a lie. We don't know which one it is. Many of us wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Moses. But then we want to go right behind Moses' back and lie on him. So Moses had to plead for us. Meaning what? And Moses besought the Lord and said, Lord, why do thou wax his heart against thy people? which thou have brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand. And he, he went on, he said, Wherefore, the Egyptians speak and say, For mischief did he bring them out, of, out to slay them in the mountain and consume them from the face of the earth. Turn from thy fierce wrath and repent. They were even scared to say that. Repent of this evil. Why? Against that people. Why? Because they don't even know what repent means. They don't even know what repent means. Why? Because he's just saying, remember of this evil against that people. Why? Because that's all repent means. And people, oh, no, 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 they don't mean that. Yeah, it do. Why? Because you don't know appeliations. But we're going to dig, we're going to dig into that. But we got to understand what's going on all through here because why? It's a problem because. People sit there still have a Christian mentality when they sit there and they try to call themselves going to teach the word. Let's dig a little bit more. Same thing he said. Repent. Remember Isaac. Remember Abraham. Remember Isaac. Remember Israel. That servant. Remember them. Remember. He said, Lord, I know you got to remember them. To whom thou swear by thy own self and said unto them, I will multiply your seeds as the stars of heaven. And all the land I have spoken of, uh, 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 will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit forever. So Moses just telling him, remember these, remember these, Lord. <laughs> you need to remember these because if not, you get ready to burn all these jokes up. See, and what most people don't know is this, see, and this is where the problem, all the problems start kicking in. Because in fact, see, because we have these twelve tribes from different women. See, Leah had Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, and Issachar and Zublin. That's what we got to remember. And then, and then uh, she had one daughter. That was Dinah. Now we have Zeph Zeph uh, Zephria, who had Gad and Asher. We have Bela, who had Dan and uh, Dan, Dan and Nathali. We had Rachel, who had Joseph and Benjamin. Okay. So now many teach that these twelve tribes. Not, and they don't even know the reason why they was even split up like this. See, that's one thing people need to understand first. Why are they split up like that? Why are they by these different women in that form? They can't tell you why. You need to know why. Ask yourselves that. This is a question I would love to ask you and tell, show, tell them to show me the precepts of why they like that. And they're in there. And I guarantee you they never bring it out because I've never seen it from any of them. But anyway, this is the problem. And what did the Most High do? And the Lord repented. So they said, oh, dang, that's, that's a bad word. The Lord repented. No, the Lord remembered of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. That's all he did. He remembered it. Okay, okay. All right, Moses. All right, Moses. I, I got you. I got you. I was gonna burn them jokers up. That's all he's saying. But this is the issue, because when he repented, he was gonna lay the smash down on him, but then he decided, okay, listen to Moses, and he backed off. So now we had this guy uh uh Dow talking all this thing, talking about Moses had these three wives. Now you see the kind of you see the kind you see the kind of weight that Moses carried. So we see this we see all this weight that Moses is carrying. But he's saying Dow saying that Moses had these wives. So we're going to look at Moses. Let's look at Moses and get an understanding on Moses. It says, and Moses 
was content to dwell with the man, dwell with the man, and he gave Moses Zephyrah his daughter. We getting ready to go to school. So I want you guys to, to remember this. And we're gonna write some things down because Donald ain't coming over, so we might somebody that might need to show him this. And any other dude that teach this, we need you guys to show him this to and walk him through it. Give him the history, and then we walk him through it. Give him the history and show how the most high is about a oneness. And give him the history, and then we're gonna go through this with Moses. Then, you're going to, then we're going to go after this. We're going to go through this with Abraham. So he gave the daughter, Zephyrah, his daughter. Keep that in mind. Now let's look at who did this. And then it says in 2.18, just two verses, no, three verses up, it says, and when they came to Raul, their father, and said, how is it that he come so soon today? So... I mean, I mean, Rael, so we, we have we have this one here, but watch what happens. Let's watch what happens. Because this is the same person, but he had he goes under another name. We're gonna break these names down also. So let's look at this. And when Moses kept the flock for Jephro, same person, uh, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert, and he came to the mountain of God, even to her. Meaning what? See, Moses kept a flock for Jephro, his father, the priest of Midian. His name is Raul, which means God is friend. However, the priest of Midian, he goes under Jephro because it has authority. You follow? That's all that means. So we got to understand how these things work, 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 work out. So we're going we're gonna to see how this stuff functions. We're going to see why it's saying it that way. However, one we're going to see what's going on. See, this is one that they like to use. So we're going to see this one thing. So now watch what the problem is. So we're going to look at num numbers 12 and 1. We're going right to it. We're going to run right. We ain't, we ain't going to move no scripture. It says, And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman who he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. Now, no, you got to be kidding me using this verse. Got to be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. But they but I'm telling you, they're using this verse. So not only they're using this verse that he had married the Ethiopian woman, but we're gonna come back to this because I'm gonna shock you on something that most people don't really know. And we're gonna see this, and you're gonna actually see it in scripture. But we're gonna see something, and, and we're gonna in the one that he did quote on the video you seen, he quoted Judges 1:16. Did he not? Because if not, I'll show you the video again. I'll make you sit through it again. We'll, we'll look at it again. However, we're going to see that he don't have no preceptual knowledge and understanding on how to actually break down a verse. We're going to find this out all right now. And everybody who teaches that doctrine, you're going to see, they don't have no preceptual knowledge. And I stand on that because this is what they believe. Meaning what? Watch this real close. And I want you to understand the lie that they used on Moses. So let's look at this. It says... This is the verse of you, Judges 1 16. He said, And the children of the Kenite, Moses' father in law, went up out of the city of palms, trees, and the children of Judah, unto the wilderness of Judah, which lieth in the south of Arad, and they went and dwelt among the people. This is the one, this is the light of use, because they're saying that, you know, the children of the Kenites, the father in law of Moses, this is what they use. I kid you not. He, we can go back and look at the video. But as I said, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. That's key. That's key. Keep that, keep that in mind. Why? Because you hate every false way. Why? Because if you get the understanding, the reason why he said, and that's why I love God hate every false way, because the children of the Kenites is the children of Hohab. <clears throat> so we're going to see this in Judges 4.11. So let's look at Judges 4.11. We're going to see that. So he said, and Heber, the Kenite, which is of uh, the children of Hohab, the father-in-law of Moses. So it says the same thing. So we know that the Kenite is, Hohab is the father of them, of the Kenites. So we got, we got all that down. And the Kenite pitched tent in the tents in the, in, um, in the plains of, of Zimian 
which is by Kaddish. All the stuff we need to know. So I need you guys to write this down because we're getting ready to get dead serious on this. And this is getting ready to break some people off. But I want these people going around with the with the with the with the with these questions. Because I'm gonna come back because they need to answer this. So we get ready to find out something. So let's look at something real close. See, because all this is talking about is what Dow didn't know. Heber, the Kenite of the children of uh, Hobart in the father law of Moses is the same person in Judges 1.16. But who is Hohab? Hohab is the father, is, 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 is Moses' father-in-law. That's his son. That makes, that makes him Moses' brother-in-law. But why? But let's look at this and we're going to see it. Let's go to Numbers 10.29. It says, in Hohab, the son of Ragul, same place, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law. And journeying in the place of the Lord, same person. Ain't no, ain't no different person, same person. But Hohab is his brother-in-law, and it's just talking about, so it's just letting you know, he's from that children, that's what you see in Judges 4.11. The Midianite is from Hohab. Moses' brother-in-law, which is just saying, Hohab, the father-in-law of Moses. Common sense. Because they're going to sit there, Hohab is still from, he's still from Jethro, so that's why they don't, they don't mix it up. This is, this is the problem. This is the problem. So letting you know who Hohab is the brother, is, is the son of them. Hohab, the son of him, it's telling you clear as day, but you're going to have a bunch of fools going to tell you something other, uh, the other way around. Watch this. Let's go a little bit deeper. And it says, now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and, and, filled, and filled the trough to the water their father's flock. Meaning what? That's what he had. But then, and Moses helped. Why? Because he's going to tell you this right here. And the shepherds came and drove them away, but Moses stood up and helped them and watered the flock. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Meaning what? Let's look at verse 18. And it says, And they came right to their father and said, uh, uh, How is it that ye have come so soon today? Because. So, but what, what some of them would like to say is something different. Because right up here, Moses kept the flock for, his, for, 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 for Jephro, his father in law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock on the backside of the desert. So Jephro, the same man, Raul, the same way they, they spell it differently because they're going to a different writer. This means the friends of God. But 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 Raul mean that, but this is the issue. So now when you go down to when you go look at Exodus 3 and 1, Jephro and Raul are the same person. But what but you gotta focus on. So we know how many daughters he had, but why it don't say the son? Because his custom was protecting the son. That's what Jephro was doing anyway. He was protecting Hohab, his only son. So since it didn't mention it, most people just think oh, uh, uh, Jephro only had daughters. And that's not the case. Because it tells you that all the time that he had a son. Numbers. Let's look at it again. Numbers. 1029, tell you, Moses said unto Hohab, the son of Ragul, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law. Telling you. So, we got a problem. They're clearly telling you this. So, then they want to tell you they told their father what? An Egyptian. Did what? Delivered them? which was deliverance most often just described from protection and the rescue of an individual, a group, or a nation that one intends to do harm. So it was seven sisters, but they most likely would have killed the brother. So the father was protecting them. So this is the problem. This is the problem. Meaning what? This is how they do it. So the destruction of this is what was going on. So meaning what? Jephro called for Moses after this had happened. 
But meaning what? And then he said to the Egyptian, delivered out of the hand of the shepherd and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. Meaning what? This is, this is what went on. Who did it? Jephthah. Same one that went down through everything. And as we just went there through it, said, he did the same thing, made sure to clear. And he said unto his daughters, where is he? And he said, they had left the man. He called him and he ate bread. So, meaning what? All this, he met him, ate bread with him. And then the next thing, and Moses was content and dwelled with the man. And he, and, and he gave Moses Zephyr, his daughter. And he was content to dwell with Jephro or, 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 or Riel, the prince of Midian, the father of Hohab, the son of Heber, the Kenite. That's what was going on. Meaning what? Hohab, it gets even better though. Because when they're not able to precept or know how, many call the line just basically dead man walking. When you can't precept, you're a dead man walking. Not precepting as you should. Using false Hebrew and Greek languages, books, and self-reasoning equals nothing more, nothing more than false doctrine. Talking about you have no spares. No spares, no spares, no spares. So you see how they try to satisfy their own flesh. What about your wife? She might need spares. She might need a spare. Since you see Hohab is Moses' brother-in-law and is clearly shown to you here. And you see men thinking with their own head and they want the book of the other things so they want their own flesh. This is the problem. So Moses, you see, they were, they, they, they were deceiving, satisfying this no spare stuff. But I ain't forgot about 12.1. We got to go back to 12.1. We got to go back to 12.1. We have to go back to 12.1. Have to go back to 12.1. See, it says, And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses, because of the Ethiopian woman who had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. I told you we have to come back here. Have to. Why? Because this to show you more on how they really screwed up. Because Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because they had married an Ethiopian woman. Really? Really? Yeah, I'm telling you, this, this is, this is, I'm telling you, this is going to get real crazy. Why? Because he married an Ethiopian woman. So did you know, same thing I tell people all the time. The word English comes from English. See, actually, we were talking about this earlier this week. English come from England. English, I-S-H, which people still have a problem with, that's a characteristic of something. But England actually is where English comes from because we speak a characteristic of England as a whole. That's what's going on. So the English language we come from America. This is why... We interpret so much in the writings here today because the English language is broken, like speaking slang. The people of England know what they're saying many times. However, by no means we are to boast on our language structure and the people of England just dumb down their language a little bit so they can understand us and make sure we can understand what they're talking about. Why? Because England is where it comes from. ISH is a characteristic of English acting as if we're perfect and we're not. And we act like we speak per more, more perfect English than, than them. And they're the, they the creators of English. That's the silliness. So the same as Jewish, ISH, characteristic of. The same as blackish, characteristic of. The same as speaking the same understanding in England language. And we call it English acting like them. But on the back, why thou went so far left in the field on the verse because he do not understand the method of England language structure at the time it was actually written and spoken and broken down into the study that we even doing today. So clearly, the Ethiopian woman whom he had married got you again. Why? Because a three-letter word got you. And it got many of them. Why? I'm going to show you what happened. And I'm going to show you how silly people are. Why? What word got them? What word got them in here? The simplest word, had. 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 So they sitting there and want to say whatever they want, but had got them. Why? Because it's telling you about a past tense. Something that he had already done. Miriam, and, and they got mad because he had married 
an Ethiopian woman. So if many of us look at the logistics and seeing what was going on today, you will see that that was happening. Meaning what? Let's look at something in, in Genesis 14, 13. And they came and they had escaped. Some They already did, past tense, and told Abraham the Hebrew. Meaning what? Because they didn't know, Miriam and Aaron didn't know that this was what was going on. Why? Because Abraham is a Hebrew. Why is this so important? Why is this so important? We're going to find out why. We're going to find out why. Let's look at this, 12 and 2. And they, and they have said, the Lord indeed has spoken only by Moses, not have he spoken also by us. And the Lord heard it. Why did he hear it? Because this same woman was through Abraham, the Midianites, who, came, who she came through. How do we know this? Let's, let's take care of this with all with, 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 with all goodness. Because he clearly spoken to Moses, and this is what they were upset about. This was the whole problem. Why? Because when you sit here and you look at it in its full entirety, you'll find out that they sitting there thinking that he had married outside of the line of Israel. And went outside the Hebrew. This is what they thinking, and that's not the case. Why? We're going to look at something in Genesis 25, 1 and 2. It says, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Ketra. This is another lie that they use. They like to use this lie, too. And they want to sit there and say, you know, he, he was married at the same time, this and that, and that's a complete, complete lie. That was after Sarah's death, when he actually married her. And all you got to do is go to Genesis 46, I mean 24 and 67, and you'll see that, that, uh, that uh, Sarah already had died, and then Abraham took a wife. But this is another lie that they like to use. And watch this. Here we go right here. And, and she buried unto uh, him Zimran, Jekshah, and uh, Midian, and, and um, Medad, and Midian. That's exactly who this daughter is from the daughter of. Telling you clear as day all day long. But then, guess what? They'll sit there and, and trying to get all screwed up over everything. Why? Because she's from Midian, but... Miriam and, and, and Aaron don't know this. So what happened? So what happened? They spoke against him. Most High heard it, and he checked them. Miriam got the worst end of it, but he checked them. He checked them on something that, that they shouldn't have been doing. Why? Because he told them, uh-uh. Moses fled to Midian, but many think that he moved, that, he, that like the movie of Ten Commandments, he went 50,000 miles away. That's not the case, and it's not true. Why? Because, again, they screwed up again. Because Zipper was, is, again, the name Zipper is a broken language. Meaning what? A broken language of Hebrew, because all it means is a small bird or a sparrow. That's all it's talking about, which is from the lion or the horn of Abraham. That's why her name was Zephyr. But they didn't know that either. However, we're going to move forward. Miriam and Aaron didn't know this. But they still spoke against her based on logistics on where she must be from. And it was the area of Ethiopians. Why? Because, again, this so-called Bible, where they want to sit there and look at Ethiopian, everyone real quick to say she's a Cushite. Lie again. It never says Cushite in the Bible where she's talking about this Cushite person because it tells you that she was a Canaanite, which was from Midian, from the area which is talking about the same thing. Meaning what? Let's work through this and we'll see. Because the woman was controlled by the horn in the, in the, in the, and she's not the horn of what the father is. The father is the controller, not the daughter or not a woman. Meaning what? The Ethiopian is the region of where she was from. So we got to figure out the Cushite or the Cush land. Got to figure out the Cushite or the Cush land, which is the region of Ethiopia, which is at the upper Nile side of Egypt corresponding with today's Ethiopia even as today. So what happened? They screwed up. They got all this wrong and it's all screwed up. So Moses made the same statement that he was a stranger in a strange land. Meaning what? All you got to do is go one up and she bared to him a son and called his name Gershom and said, I have been a stranger in a strange land. He didn't go that far. He just went over to another part, or like went two or three cities over. All that happened, and then he was cool, but they were still in the region of Ethiopia, 
which was the land of the Midianites, which that's what was there. Common sense, plain as day, in main thing, they want to sit there and they want to talk about Kitra was doing this and Kitra was something else and he didn't marry nothing, which it gets into another part where they want to talk about the same thing about Ethiopia and all this stuff and what Matt and what uh what uh Abraham them did in that now we got Abraham but calling themselves you know Ethiopians from Ethiopia but we still gotta look at what they do what they are. They was from the children of Ham. Who? Children of Cush. But they were just from over there. So now Dow is speaking the same thing about the woman account for like she's civil, but the same mar the same woman he's talking about is the same woman he's talking about three times. That's what's going on. Three times he said, technically he says he he done married this woman three times. Because he, he using judges. And judges are telling you about the same person, but the silliness. So again, they want to sit there and then what about Abraham? We won't deal with Abraham because Abraham married who? He married Kitra and he had six more sons, which he tells you right there in verse two, when you look at the topic 20 Genesis 25, one and two. But what happened there? So Abraham didn't technically have a wife. Why? Because it tells you when he said, and he took a wife and it tells you right there in 25, it said, then again, Abraham took a wife and called her name Kitra. So guess what? Concubines have two different names. We got to understand one is a whore. That's what we got to clear. That's clearly what it is. But it also has a spiritual side name to it that is actually spoken even in the Bible that is clear. Meaning what? It means something else that has shocked many people. Concubine. It tells you right here. Now you see up there where it says took away? Look at Chronicles 132. Now the sons of Ketra, Abraham's concubine. Why is this, why does it say it's concubine? Because she can never be in the place of the first wife. So all it's showing you is that as soon as it says this, it clears it, letting you know she was not the first wife. Clear, un unsaid, because you only can be married once. That's what it was talking about. But most people sit there and say, oh, this is talking about something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, but that's the issue. Verse 25, verse 1 and 2, you see right there, Abraham took a wife and her name was Ketra. You see in, in 1 Chronicles 132, and the sons of Ketra, Abraham's concubine. It's clear as day. Why? Because they don't know the difference between it because they want to sit there and talk about how much they know scripture, but they really don't. Meaning what? Abraham also called concubine, his wife was called a concubine because it has a twofold meaning. And the twofold meaning, meaning what? A concubine is this. Either going to be a woman who is providing sex to a married man, and the, and the wife know it, concubine, whore, and then you have some on the twofold side, which is what? Then you have the spiritual side, which many cannot see. The word concubine is a second wife or a woman that is a carrier that her main position in her job is to do what? Is to sit there and to provide children, period. Nothing more, nothing less. So when you look at this in 25, 1 and 2, it's telling you clear as day exactly what was going on when you're looking at 132. And all this woman was doing was providing children, meaning what? This is how this is how they roll back then. And then the same thing that you see when you look at Sari, when you go to Genesis 16:3, Sari, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, her handmaid, the Egyptian, after Abraham, who had dwelt 10 years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. Meaning what? To be her concub to be his concubine to provide him a child. That was it. And guess what? Most people sit there, oh well, no, it's still it says his wife. No, it don't. Don't get it mixed up, don't get it twisted, because you don't understand English. This is the problem with most of them who does this. This is the issue here. Because one thing you gotta remember, one, she is a slave. Two, she was just there to bear children. Nothing more when when Sarah gave it to her. Why? Because if she was a wife, why would Abraham tell Sarah this in verse 16, 6? And, but Abraham said to Sarah, Behold, thy maid, not his wife, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleases thee. And when she and, and, when, and, and when Sarah dealt harshly with her, she fled from her face. It don't say, do with the second wife what thee please. Do with 
thy maid as, uh, as you know, however you want to do it. That's what he said. Why? Because she was nothing but a provider and a progenitor for a child. Nothing more. That's all it was. But this is what they say. People like to play this little stupid game, and this is what goes on. Meaning what? They don't understand the position of Hagar. They don't understand the position of a wife. They don't understand the position of a of a um, of a concubine. Why? Because they want to sit there and play little stupid games. So they want to sit there and do these things and see it. So not understanding the English language, they become a stumbling block for you. And this is why Dow and many others have this issue. This is why they had the issue. So many of them had to be taught again. So for when a time they ought to be teachers, they have need one should be taught again. The first principle in the oracles of God are become such to have need of milk and not strong meat. So same as straightway, same as many other people. We don't went through this doctrine. And you see that Abraham's as well as Moses. When Abraham's wife died, he married again. That's what happened. So same thing. Even today, I open up Zoom. Easily open up Zoom for anybody who want to sit there and talk silliness. I'd be more than happy to open up Zoom to, to take care to take care of the issue. That I do not have a problem with. So um, uh, let me see. This uh, let me see. Why is this doing this? Oh, that's why it's doing it. That's why it's doing it. Okay, so what I want to do. I want to sit there and um, anybody, because I got Zoom already on ready. So anybody want to go through, because some stuff I didn't show on purpose based on that on, on that alone. It says, so did they get condemned for that behavior for having a concubine? So this Fountain of Life, Fountain of Life online, yeah, I would love, so all you have to do, Fountain of Life, let me know that you want to go on Zoom, you'll come up live, and you can sit there, ask me the question, and I'm going to ask you a question, and and, 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 and we're going to find out what's going on. So, see, because what you're doing, you must be, you must uphold to that, that silly doctrine, because that's the only reason you put that in there. But I'm going to need to go up and see some of this stuff. See some of this stuff and see. But yeah, yeah, because I see you actually doing this a lot. So did they get condemned? Okay, so again... You need to come into the into the Zoom live because all you gotta do is say you'll do it, and I crank I I crank Zoom up right now. But I guarantee you, you can't defend your silly doctrine. That's the purpose of it because this is the silliness. Because now you can't post scripture. All you're doing is posting, trying to post reasoning. I told you I don't deal with reason. We deal with scriptures here. But I knew, but I knew we'd catch fish like you. <clears throat> and let me see. Right now we cannot. So now it just look like uh, in oh you guys are more than welcome. But I want this fountain of life line. I want fountain whatever you call his name. Please, I will give you the floor. And everybody know how I am here. Very respectful to you. Come on, all you gotta do is say you come online. I'm a fire. Actually, I'm gonna tell you what. All you gotta do is say you do it. But I see you just shut up. See, and the reason I'm talking this way because you guys have done our Israel women this way so long. And you lied to them. And see, and all you sitting there, you see right now, I'm going through a lot of your stuff because I see you doing, you doing all this. But just as I said, you, you're lying and you're lying to women. And so judgment and ignorance uh, can't even see it. Okay, so again... Found the life. You're showing your ignorance right now. Smith, uh, you read Smith, not from a camp. Yes, you are. You got the camp mentality. Cause I'm going through your stuff. And, uh, but please, yeah. All you have to do, and I see for whatever reason, you shut up. But why I'm talking to you this hard is because you sit there, I, I'm going through it. I see you had a lot to say as I was teaching. Now we're done teaching. We come over to the Zoom side, but for whatever reason, you choose not to you choose not to talk no more. Because all I gotta do is open up Zoom and we can physically talk. 
You can you we can it's automatic. But for some reason, you choose not to come in there. And just as I said, you know, okay, we can do Zoom. Okay, now this who this gorilla? Oh yeah, we can go in there. In one second, I'm gonna give you the link, and we we getting ready to fire up Zoom. One second, I will fire this up. Cause you come in, you talking, you know, precept. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna shut you down. So one second, I'm getting ready to do this right now. Right now, one second, one second. Let me hit the edit, and I'm gonna find out. So we're going to maybe see real quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me see. I need this, this, this. One second. One quick second. Yeah. Save. So just saved it. All I need you to do and let me see. I need to change this. If you refresh your screens, you, you will see it right now. It's a link, it's a link right right below the just refresh your screen and it'll, it'll be right there. All you gotta do is refresh your screen. Refresh your screen, you'll see it. It's automatic. So my thing is this. So let me see. Yeah, if you have a lot to say, be more than happy to have you in there. So what I do right now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what we get ready to do? What I need you to do right now? Oh no, he ain't gonna do no name calling. Do name calling? I shut him down. So I'm not even worried about that. But he gonna come in here. He gonna show some precept. He ain't gonna give me no um, ideology. So what I'm getting ready to do right now? Everybody, you gonna see a switch and you are gonna see another thing in. So what you gonna do? You gonna see another another live thing come up. And he should and he should be coming in. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm starting it up as we speak right now. So I'm gonna check this one down and I'm gonna start the other one up. So you guys can switch over. And then you're gonna see it's gonna come under the same name. It's gonna come under the same name, so give me give me time. One minute, one second. Cause it's already started. And it's going right. To you. And which one is he? Trying to see, trying to see, trying to see. I don't know if this is him. Is this you? I'm trying to see uh, this, you under an LG phone. Is this, is this you? I don't know who this is. Elder Pittman, did you, did you, did you get this guy's name? Do you know the guy named Elder Pittman? No, I don't know whose name is. Uh, yeah. Did you get the guy name? No. No, I didn't. Yeah, okay. I said William Curry. Let me pull up because that's a new name. Uh, allowed to talk, not available because William Curry is using an older. Okay, William, William Curry. Okay, he's using an older thing, so he can't be promoted. Um, everybody else is kind of normal people. Do not see, do not see, do not see. 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna pull this over here because I'm gonna let people know, I'm gonna let people see. And uh, actually, I wanna bring Elder Jenkins out. Yeah, Elder Jenkins, how you doing, my brother? Shalom, shalom, brother. Okay, I wanna I wanna pull my screen up because I wanna make sure people can see. I'm trying to find out who this guy is to see what it is. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna share my screen and I wanna know can you guys see the panel? Oh shoot. Let me let me put the panel up real quick. Cause I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna make sure they can see the panel. Um let me put let me close this one. Cause I want the, um, I want, um, you yeah, know, here we go. So can you see, can you see these participants? No, I only, I only see the uh, PowerPoint with the scripture, that's it. The PowerPoint with the scripture? Yes. Let me see. Oh, you don't see, you don't see this I, participant that, do you? No, I'm I'm actually on my iPhone, but yeah, I only see the scripture with the PowerPoint and the scripture, that's all I can see. Shoots. Uh, all I can see too, Elder. Okay, I was hoping y'all can see this, uh, cause I don't see what I'm looking for is the name, I see college. I'm not seeing the name William Curry. See, I tried to get this William Curry up, but I don't see. Yeah, that's William Curry. That's that's my cousin. That's one of my oh. cousins right now. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let me see. I know John Smalls, brother John Smalls is going at it. Brother John Small, did you did you get the guy's name? Brother Smalls. I know I clicked him up. Where's Gorilla Wong? Yeah, I'm not seeing. Gorilla Wong and. Yeah. I'm not seeing. See, I'm, let me let me do a couple of. Found the life online. Huh? Found the gonna... life online. Okay, I'm getting ready to put up a couple of things so because I'm trying to get that so this is part of it let me see uh can you see can you see those names there yeah I see it now okay so this is what I got in there I'm so I'm trying to sit there and if they can show me who who they are I'm I'm pulling both of them up he's backing now he's asking how much we're getting paid what <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. How much is he really paying you all? Wait, wait, I know he ain't saying that, is he? In the chat, yes. Oh, wait a minute. No, come He's out still the, in chat. the chat. He's no, in the come chat. out the chat. The link is there. I can't even believe this. How much is this software? How much is the software this time? Ooh. This dude, dude, you won't tell you what, he's he's a bumbling idiot. That's all he is. He's just an idiot. He said he calls himself a gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. He's hanging, he he needs to hang out in the trees. That's can I might ask you a question. I recently found out that a strange wife got married. Would be a status uh marrying again. Yeah. If you please, Brother Green, just give us a minute while we're dealing with this guy. I promise you. Actually, just send me an email and I, I'll send you my number and we can talk. But we're trying to get this guy who talked to all this trash. And right now, we, we're in Zoom where he can come over here and we're just waiting on this gentleman to come over here. But for, for whatever reason, he won't come in. So now he, so what he's trying to do, he's trying to do a little kid move. They trying to talk about everything else, or what does this cost, what that cost, don't matter anything. Just come over. Come over and ask me questions. He said he used to be in the class. Okay, what's the problem? Come in. 
All you got to do is click on the link. Well. <laughs> I can't. Bro, I'll tell you what. It's a trip that people say stuff and then, you know. Probably thousands of miles away from. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Look, he talking about what's your end game? Did I say anything to him? And he was the one putting all this stuff in there. And he the one sitting there said he had a lot to say. Hmm. Hmm. He's talking about everything else but what he said. So, but this is well, he will probably have to change his name. He talking about, so what is your end game? Yes, yeah, my, end, my, my, my end game is to show you a liar. That's my end game to show that anybody deceiving the women telling the women they can have more than one, they need a spare, they need this, they need to be doing that, they need to be bowing down, kissing my feet. All these people like that, that's what you are, cowards as you are. As, as uh, Brother Fields put, you say you're a gorilla, but you're really a chicken. That's literally what's going on, why? You, you scared to defend your own doctrine. I know you will you're only cut me off. Doctrine. Again, do what they want. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what. You come in, as I said, so he's sitting there. If you come in, all you have to do is sit there, and you can literally teach back here. All you got to do is come back here and say, we're going to tell you what. Let me show you precepts where you all off at. And we're going to sit down. We're going to shut up. All of us are going to shut up. I got, uh, I got one of my brothers up. I got two elders up here. We all going to be quiet, and we're going to listen to you. But you ain't gonna give us no ideology and running in a bunch of different books. You're gonna give us the you're gonna give us out of the book itself. And we're gonna shut up. All you gotta do is come in here. That's all you gotta do. Come in. And I and I promise you, you will not be cut off. <clears throat> I don't even get it. So is he, let me see, is he coming in? Um, <clears throat> he ain't posting. Uh... He's backtracking. Yeah, oh, oh, he's still over here. Oh, uh, where did I say that I, that man, I can have more? To... <laughs> I'm not gonna answer you on anything. I need you to come back here again, come back here and you prove your point. I'm not finna, I'm not gonna go back and forth over here in a chat. We can talk. We can literally talk. So you come back here in the Zoom and you and then you can you can sit there and you can you can ask the questions. But you see, oh boy. I wish people see the silliness on how people want to defend they can have more than one wife doctor what they doing, what they doing, literally what they doing. And this is one of them. And so you got the same thing. They got three thumbs down on this one. However, nobody won't defend it. If anybody back here who we don't know, who, who think you can have more than one wife, put your hand up and I'll be more than happy to bring you up. And all you gotta do is present the precepts and we're, and we're good. And we'll be good from there. Uh, I got one question. Let me see. Let me see this question. He don't see the link. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You want to be able to start 67 the Zoom call. Huh? You want to be able to start 67 the Zoom call. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, sister, the link is there, my elder. Yeah, Sister Cheryl. He's saying he can't he can't see the link. Yeah, that's what was in um that's what was in chat. He couldn't find the link. How did y'all get back here? The link. The link. Found the link. Oh, and I'll tell you what, I was gonna tell you off thing. Yeah, tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you, tell your nephew, congrats. And you shouldn't be crying so much when you're taking pictures. Oh, that was my grandson. Yeah, don't be crying all the time. <laughs> don't be crying. Stop that crying. 
<laughs> that was my living grandbaby for almost three years. Okay, but well, stop that crying. <laughs> stop, hey, chin up, chin up, <laughs> chin up. Yeah, because I see, boy, you were sitting there like you, you was in bad shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, where, where is this? Guy? I'm trying to see. Now he had me to switch over, which we did. And if anybody who feel contrary to where you can have more than one wife, please put your hand up. I'd be more than happy to bring you up because I see this this guy is Bennett. I'm still listening. I'm just hearing uh, all the assumptions you know being made uh, made about me and none the truth. I don't lie. I don't lie down and promote unrighteousness. Nothing. Nothing more to say. Yeah. So again, fountain of life. All you gotta do is click on the link and come over. See, this is this is the silliness. Yeah. And, um, the brother put it right. Yeah. It is. It, it is. It, it, it is unlawful. You know, there's a house phone in there. Oh. Did I just stop your thing? Oh, boy. Uh -uh. Can you hear him? Um, yeah, no, I don't have a, I don't have a Dow's number, but what, I, but what we did do, we sent him emails, and then what I did do, um, uh, he had uh, commented on something else right when he was coming out that reward show, and what I did, I immediately commented to him about something else. And and he but he's gonna show, you know who I am, and he and he just wouldn't respond. But then he took it took it. Somebody else responded to him about something else, and he immediately responded to them. But he then he just looked over mine again. I responded again, and told him, you know, yeah, can you you know talk to me or this and that? And he just wouldn't respond to me. So and I forgot. And it's on one of those right after the um, award show. You can see because him him and some people was driving back. You can look on there, you'll see why I am I I was actually speaking to him. Well, I was speaking one side, he wasn't speaking to me, technically what happened. Yeah, uh I don't see it. Fountain of water is this. I don't I do not see this. Let me see. I got Elder Smith. Here. I'm Elder Smith. Elder Smith. Shalom, Elder. No, oh, man. Wait a minute. Is this this is a new guy? I don't know if it's him or not. Uh, Mr. Harden. Mr. Harden. I don't know if this is one of them. Mr. Harden. Yeah. In yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, uh, you want not me. I'm just I'm listening to the class. I want to hear the brother speak. <laughs> I want to hear the brother speak too. <laughs> okay. All right, my brother. I'm just checking. I just seen you back here. I didn't know, sir. I'm just no, I've I've been following you for a while and and, and like I said, I, I caught the last class and when you said that you was having this class, I wanted my wife to hear it as well. Yeah, yeah. How many wives you have? I might well I have one. <laughs> yeah, because because I wouldn't be talking to you. About one. I wouldn't be talking to you if you had two, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you right now, I tell you right now, y'all sure wouldn't see me even if I told her to have. I was thinking about what do you think about having two? <laughs> well, this is the uh, the uh, elder from Straightway, correct? Yeah, that's the one okay. from Straightway. Yeah, I, I've been waiting on this one. Yeah, that's the one from Straightway, but um. Yeah, we already talked about him, but but um, but like even if I if I man if I even told my wife, hey, you want to, what do you think? Even if I told, what do you think about having multiple wives? Y'all will see probably up on this channel. We saw <laughs> to say uh, the man y'all know and Elder Johnson uh -huh. is dead. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'm gonna keep watching and see yeah. if he shows up. I'm, yeah. I'm like I said, I'm waiting for the class to begin. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. Oh, my wife got a mean left hook. No, <laughs> yeah, man. 
Man, my ego. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't I get it. Out, See, and how and how he said in the video, you know, spares, no spares, no. Right. He didn't dwindle women down to spares. I that was disrespectful. He, huh? I, you know, that was disrespectful the way he said oh, that. Man. Yeah, that was so disrespectful. I'm sitting there like, dang, we have no spares. We need yeah. spares. Oh. So do the so do the women get spares? That's what I that's what I said. So do the women get spares? What if what if what if what if she sit there and she and she has a high sexual you know lifestyle? Right. Then you ain't you ain't meeting her lifestyle. She she don't get no spares. <laughs> I'm talking about, but that's a fair question. I think, I think what he's doing, he's taking concubines a lot farther than what than what you know he reads the book and he sees the word concubine and he assumes he's allowed to have another wife or whatever i don't know uh, uh-uh. nope oh he's just teaching false doctrine and trying to appease his carnal side yeah he don't know that it all is uh it's considered all flesh you, yes. you know in order to deal with something like that it's it's a matter of the flesh yeah so yeah so it was uh Man, you know, I, you know, yeah. but but these new testament only people they want to jump to the old testament for the concubine but everything else in the new testament is good except for the concubine yeah yeah <laughs> right. yeah the, the, the them the women if you ever notice everything how they how they teach like that everything mm-hmm. benefits that man right everything. right you know he can have more women he can do you know he he he's benefiting everything. Yes. <laughs> yes, we got a lot of sisters on here watching. And I, I want to read First Corinthians chapter seven, one through two. Well, I'll tell you what, you're only saying that because you, you sound better than everybody. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it says, now concerning, now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, you gotta be married first, and all this other stuff. How are you gonna fornicate? Let every man have his own wife, and let every man have his let every woman have her own husband. That's correct. That's absolutely correct. Mm-hmm. Can't get no plainer than that. No, nah, it doesn't. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah, you have your own. Abraham got buried with his wife. Where did the concubines go? Yep. <laughs> if you're a second or third or fourth or fifth wife, you might start to wonder, look at oh. that first wife and know she going to get buried with him. And she going to go where he goes. Talk where you going to end up. Talk about it. <laughs> Talk about it. Yeah, He only doing that because he sounds better than everybody. <laughs> we said a deep voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh-huh. He's doing that for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, I forgot. Um, I call him Barry White sometimes, but they they call him. <laughs> he got, he got, he, but I, I gave him his credit. He got a good voice. I gave him his credit. <laughs> so, but he's a cool brother, though. That's brother John Small. He's a cool brother, though. Okay, okay. I, I, I just, I just jokes with him all the time like that. <laughs> Cause, uh, cause even people, once I got off, and sometimes we'll talk publicly like this, mm-hmm. I get off, and I get emails from people. They be saying, "Man, hey man, who who is that? Who is that brother, man?" And I'm sitting there, like, you know, I don't know who you're talking about. And I email, they say, "You know that brother who had that 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 that, that real smooth sounding deep voice." I say, oh shoot! Oh yeah, yeah, talking about brother John Small. John Small <laughs> radio station or something. He, <laughs> I was uh I was thinking about going down the straightway because it's not far from me to see what it was like because uh from my understanding they had their own community. So you know I wanted to see what this community was about. Yeah, I don't know if they'll let you in though. That's the thing. Where is it located at? Uh Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wow. Oh. So, and I'm I'm in Ohio. So I was thinking about driving down there. It ain't but a couple of hours, few hours to.
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, brother. Oh. No. Uh, hey, brother John. Somebody yeah. asking you to write. Uh, what what verse did you use again? It was First Corinthians chapter seven, verse uh, one through two. Really, you can read the whole chapter. Yes. First Co uh, Corinthians chapter seven, verse one and two. And someone saying they're in Tennessee. Yeah. So I now, uh, group. Actually, so, so wait a minute. So now, found the life. Now he's trying to like he. We need found the life back here. He knows. Uh, hey, Elder, he's black. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, Event just came up and told me that he's still arguing with her in the back. So I'm going to go to the chat and see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Let me let me look because. Yeah, because uh, let me see this found the life. That's what uh, he knows exactly where they're located. Tennessee is a no state, yeah, because yeah, he, yeah, because he probably, yeah, no, no, found the life. She don't know nothing about you where she's sitting there telling you found the life. Be a man if you have a, if you have a sense of knowledge to where you want to stand up for what you believe in, she's telling you to come to the back. For whatever reason, you choose not to come there, so you're choosing to try to fight with a woman over on the chat. That's bad. Sister. That's really bad. Yeah, yeah. And to show you, where well, her husband getting ready to come, come on that side, and you can deal with him. That's bad. And, that, and, that's, and that's another one of our elders. I should put cuts on this. I should, yeah, I should. Yeah, I got Cutmaster up. I should put Cutmaster on you, but. But now we'll save we'll save him for something now. How you doing, Elder T? I don't know, Elder T. Elder T, you 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 must have walked away. Yeah, yeah. Straight waiting them was watching. I already know someone watching because they because some people responded to me. And they act like they wasn't part of it. But okay. They, they, no, but they just said that he could not um, attend and some certain things. But my thing is, ended other uh, other yeah. so-called battles with other pastors, Christian pastors. So, what would make this one any different? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Mike T, you can speak. I don't even know why he got his hand up. Go ahead and speak on, my brother. Tell the T. I don't know. What can you, you hear me? Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. No, I was. <laughs> what I was in the, in the chat. It was um someone um her name is daughter of the most high yah and uh -huh. she, she said she didn't say the question but she did and i pulled i copy and pasted her question that she had posted up because she was saying that well who in the community is right um why are we going against each other so much in the Israelite yeah. community and i was telling i was chatting with her and let her know that it's not you're not attacking you don't attack anybody personally. No. We attack their doctrine. And I, right. I told yeah. her, because Brother John Smalls was going back and forth with her also, that if you come into the chat posting your opinion, not a question, but an opinion, mm -hmm. it means you have a particular belief in that opinion. Mm -hmm. So if you are corrected in that situation, you can't be offended because you, if you post your opinion, because if you believe in that opinion, then here at King James Bible University, we're going to correct it. Yeah. That's the issue. And people Man. tend to take their emotions and get their emotions caught up in situations. And like I told her about nobody's being disrespectful, but if you look into the scriptures, Yahweh called Pharisees and Sadducees, he called them vipers and devils and so forth and so on. Dogs. All. All day long. So I said, What Bible do you read? Yeah. When no one in this chat has called you a name, no one has called you out of your name. No. And so we post a scripture or something that you don't like. So now we're being disrespectful. When when it comes to your salvation, feelings can't get involved. No. And 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 and, and I'm you know, and as Elder um, T just told her, you know, he's telling you plain as day. We're not here, we we're not attacking down whatsoever so if that's what you think we're doing we're not doing that whatsoever no it's just straightening out the doctrine that that's being given exactly we only going after his doctrine so the same thing is we don't go after the doctrine that he's doing then what he's doing 
he's deceiving more women. That's all he's doing. And same thing is you have people out there who have daughters and everything else. They don't want their daughters caught up with that kind of crap. Well, man, all of a sudden you got women. She's the first wife. She's the second wife. Then you got an older man. He want a younger woman that he's going to marry. So when he gets old, she can take care of him. Girl. Not to mention, we don't want our sons to follow that situation yeah. at the same time. And I definitely don't want my son into that. I got two sons. I don't want neither one of them into it. Same as my daughter. I got one daughter. I don't want her nowhere in that kind of junk. It's, it's, all, it's all false. What, so, what did Christ say? We have one doctrine? Hmm, one doctrine. There's only one doctrine in there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's real sad because uh, our people are being deceived and they got other nations over there building with them. Yep. Mm -hmm. And not even knowing in First Adris, chapter 5, verse what's that, 68 yeah. through 70, saying we're not supposed to build together. No. They're watching, putting it out there. Listen. Yeah, for some reason, this um, the, the, this fountain of life, for some reason, he don't want to come over. He's just staying on that side. But since I've got him in here, I, I want to bring up Brother Matthew because he, he's, in, he's in South Africa. So I want to just say hi to him. And, and he probably probably see this comical right now. But uh, hey, Brother Steve, Brother Matthew. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Shalom, my brother. How's everything? I mean, everything is good. Elder. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just, just here trying to get some of these these people in here. Had that thought pattern, but then nobody want to come in. So, no, man. Especially that guy, uh, Gorilla One. Man, he, he he talks a lot of game, but he ain't got none because you know he's afraid to come up and just come up to the back and then state his cause. Because he, I can see I'm looking in the chat right now, everything that he's posting, you know, but he can't back it up. Like, why can't you just go to the back and just yeah. state your cause and just say what you have to say? It's simply as that. It's nobody like nobody's going to kill you or anything. You're just going to state your cause, you know? Yeah. But he like he, he, he speaks a lot of game, but he ain't got none. That's no, what I can say. Yeah, because I see uh I see uh brother Dad, girl back here. He said that uh gorilla is still making noise. On the chat, he's trying to shift the heat from himself to straight. No, no straight way not over here. Dial not over here. We already we already made the point. We're attacking yeah. the doctrine that he's actually part of. So as many people part of that doctrine, because you got some people over here that's part of that doctrine. So you can take Dial out of this right now. Yeah. And now we're dealing with Gorilla. Hey, Gorilla Wong, I got plenty of scriptures for you. Yeah. Come on back. Yeah. So you come back here. And you deal with it because that's what we're dealing with. We ain't dealing, you can take straight way, you can take dial out of this. <laughs> we want to deal with him. Gorilla Wong got the whole book for you. Come on yeah. back. Yeah. So now you're talking about or gossip. See, y'all all talk. See, look again. So he's saying, I use the link and you all talk about scriptures. So again. <laughs> we got all these people back here who use the link and he's saying he's not using the link i tell you what else we got in here we got phone numbers in there that you can use I know the phone numbers work <laughs> so nothing worked for him I tell you what you do I tell you what you do uh, gorilla tell you what you do I'm going to put my email in here I know this one. And that I put my email in there. Tell you what you do. Reply to my email. Just reply to my email. I'm gonna give you my phone number. I know my phone worked. I know that worked. And actually I took it off ringer. So I know that worked. So so email me and I'm gonna give you my number. And since nothing else worked, I know my phone worked. Oh. Whew. The yeah. daughter of uh, 
Israel. It's this daughter of yeah. Yeah. She's very uh says someone has a feminine spirit. Yeah. Not gonna go back and forth with that one. Yeah, yeah, that's just plain silliness. So yeah. So <laughs> So we run into this. I run into this all the time. We show them and back up the scriptures. They they do like a paperback book. Becomes yeah. timeless. Yeah, you know. So yeah, and what people try to do, and and what and what I know they just like is they're trying to throw everything else on the other side at you to try to get you off topic, to get you on another topic. The problem they having is they're not getting this off the topic. We want to, we want, we want what we want. So they'll sit there and they'll say whatever they want to say. They can say whatever they want to say. They can talk about whatever they want to talk about. All what they want to say, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. They can talk about me, whatever they want to say. Come into the chat and let's deal with this one wife. So even we, I can care less what they said. Come in there and let's deal with this one wife. He's too busy talking, asking uh, Elder Jenkins and Elder T, how are they? He's not going to come in the back, Elder. Okay, so this is this is this is. I'm talking about it's pure. It's talking about it's pure, pure silliness. And right now, yeah, because I got my email up, waiting for an email. Because all I got to do to do it, I reply right back to it. Hmm. I reply right back to it, but I guarantee you right now, nothing. So, so yeah. So um, let me see. What does it mean? The lesson. So, so does that mean the lesson was done earlier? Yeah, <laughs> you missed it. Uh, yeah, that lesson is is two of these up, and I got to change this one where we actually was going over to another thing, but we already had one lesson. I didn't know if uh, I didn't know if uh, Deacon Smith is in and click on some. Yeah, I guess Deacon Smith watching that 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 other side. Yeah. So you got this dude, uh, Gorilla, talking to everybody else. But but that's it. And Deacon Smith is telling him what to do because I had a problem initially and yeah. I had to go to my iPad instead. So yeah, okay, yeah. So we sitting here. I had to get to you. We didn't did all this stuff, and now he just opened the platform who was questioning to believe that they had more than one wife doctor. Yeah. Even uh even uh Brother Bennett, he's telling people the same thing. Everybody's trying to tell him. Everybody, everybody telling, yeah, somebody, <laughs> bye, Gorilla. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I had to start, I had to actually start a Zoom account to get in. So maybe that's his issue. No, but even if you don't have a Zoom account, I had a numbers in there. You can even call, you can, you can even get in through that number. Actually, okay. he said he, he used to be in the class all the so he should have one. So if he have a class, yeah. But the main he thing is- in your class. Yeah, but the main thing is, if he was in the class, all you gotta do is come in. It's open. I don't, right now, we don't care who you are. Come in. If you're saying that a man can have more than one wife, all I wanna do is see it in scripture. Because I do one thing scripture don't contradict each other. And nowhere in the world you're gonna tell me Moses from the mouth of the Most High God gonna sit there and tell you, do not multiply wives. Meaning what? If you have one wife and you get one more wife, that's wives. He tell you don't. Do, he tell you don't multiply them. Prove it to me. Then they went on to say Moses had three wives, the same woman every time. They talking about because yeah. why? The reason why? Because they try to pull up old 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 Ethiopia, which I don't. I usually don't do I don't do this on the front, but I'm gonna do it on the front for that for only for this reason. You have to get a real, real old map, but you can't get it from here. 
You can get it from two places. You can get it at this, um, you can get it at one place out of England. You can get it in another place in, um, in Jordan. You can get, you can get these maps. Map will cost you maybe three or four, that might cost you 15, 20 bucks to get it shipped. So they're only about three or four bucks. And you'll see the old, the old layout. So when Moses left, Moses didn't walk a thousand miles. That's the biggest lie that that's what they teach you to think. Moses might have walked maybe about 60, 70 miles. He was still in Ethiopia. Egypt is just right, just like um, just like uh, where we live at. We just a city over from, you know, whatever the next city is right next to us. And it's like Moses just did that long walk. That's why, that's why you see it that way. And then once he got over there, same thing. And 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 most of them are going to two names. Most priests goes under two names. It's, well, I don't even want to get all in, but I'm talking about, I don't even know what this uh, gorilla Wong. See, one, you're going to hide behind the name. I see he's calling out, he calling out Deacon Defrost. De De Deacon Defrost, really, he's calling us by name because we got our names in here. However, he going to hide behind the name and also hide behind the name of something that's supposed to have strength and he has none. Wow. Yeah. It, it, this, this is comical. You act like this around these people. <laughs> what? Deacon Defrost didn't do anything. Deacon Defrost only made one statement. He he got he said, uh Gorilla, what is the 1411? Uh and who are you? Saying, bro, I I know uh who my bros are. That's all he said. Deacon Defrost ain't said nothing crazy. So he's sitting there. Saying, Defrost, really? You act like this around these people? Deacon Defrost ain't said nothing disrespectful. I don't get it. So, I don't know. So, well, what we're going to end up doing is, um, wait, wait a second, I got a, uh, I got a, uh, I got to bring up one. I got a Randolph. I'm gonna promote up to a panelist and come up. And Randolph, you are able to speak. Yes, sir. If you unmike, you got to unmike. You have to unmike. You got to unmike. I still see you. Yes, there you yeah. go. Now I can hear you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is reverse. My gosh, I should know better. Yeah, oh, greetings. Um, I know who you are. I know who you, yeah, last time we had you laughing hard, hard about Michael Holloway. I remember. Who I know. That was at five o'clock in the morning your time. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I didn't remember you. Yeah, I remember yeah. you. <laughs> I had to change um, my name because my name's Rudolph. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, excellent teaching. Uh, I've been sort of listening at background because I've been late. So uh, that's what's mm -hmm. happening. But I'm a little bit frustrated with this uh, brother really one because um he hasn't bothered to come in so uh, a bit of waste of time but anyway <clears throat> it's just how it goes so um yes greetings uh sabbat shalom um, family um coming out from right now from uk so uh all i can say is irie yeah so we appreciate <laughs> you i know the last time we couldn't stop you from laughing <laughs> Yeah, it was serious, brother. It was so serious. I couldn't well, I can't say I couldn't believe, but it was a lot of being exposed. Uh, last time we um, are joining with this uh, brother uh, of his, ed his own organization, uh, he's apologetic, yeah. Yes. But it, it, it's, it's, I should be feeling sad, but, but it's just one of those things uh, I've come across. Yeah, um, well, a lot of things. You know, well, I'm I'm, I might, if, if you don't mind, if I can use you. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, yeah, 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 yeah. Can yeah, you I, can you let yeah. this gorilla know? Yeah. Did we give Michael Holloway the floor? Oh we, no, 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 you did. Yeah. Can yes, you let uh, him know we we'll give him the floor? Because it seemed like he's thinking we're gonna jump on him or something. But yeah, that's right. No, no, you've given you give him um the 
the visitor the floor, the clear platform. He had the whole of the time to explain himself. Mm -hmm. Then, like most of them, um, not all of them, but most of them, it seemed to be um, choppy where they start to um, somehow over talk uh, your reply. But apart from that, you're giving them a, a clear platform. Now, <clears throat> it's more fair enough. Having said that, it, it's good because what you've done, you've given a platform, but the third party like ourselves, listen on the side, we can see certain things exposed. Mm -hmm. And that's a very important. So I, I, I want to congratulate you, um, Elder Johnson, and your, your team, have, have how you have um, built that platform. Because in this time, it's very important now for other people who are listening quietly, learn. Yeah. Unfortunately, many of us don't read and research. Um, yeah. And like I said, I found myself exposed a lot of things, found out a lot of lies when I seriously had to go through the scripture myself and then use other uh, books, which is relevant. Um, uh, uh, sorry. You know, the, um, the great um, <clears throat> top um, personnel uh, uh, with in, in concerning black history, because in that, support what's in the scriptures okay. very important i've come to realize that we need to base uh found uh, our foundations in the scripture all we're doing we're, we're looking for a confirmation or a proof that link to the scripture yep. not make that as a major which is a problem yeah and so it is just to let everybody know that 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 that's real english language Oh, you can't see me, can you? My I, gosh, I, see, I look I, dark. I know, I can, yeah, can I can, see but I'm just letting them know that's the real English. That's right, my hair. Yeah, that's the real English language he's speaking. We speak, we speak slang. Yes, yes. He speak a pure English language. Just, no, to, let, it does. Like, just, it does. just to let everybody know, because English right. is ISH is a is a is a it's, 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 it's like it's, it's like yeah. it's like what he speaks. So yeah, I'm gonna tell that you. was what I appreciate you. I really appreciate what you said that because that is a small thing I didn't realize. I overlooked it. I knew English language was um sort of more hybrid, but it is dramatic. But it's something overlooked. That's excellent what you just said. So simple, but it's like many things. It's there, and you don't always look. Yeah, uh, you don't realize. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Oh yeah, see, because I even um, when people tell me about see over there, see now you won't know what I'm saying, but half the people over here gonna think I'm talking about something else because you guys call certain things biscuit. Yeah. Y'all call things biscuit. When I heard that, yeah. I'm thinking about a a biscuit biscuit, and y'all wasn't even talking. I'm sitting there like, dang, right? You know, yeah. and then and then y'all yeah. call certain days holidays. Well, you know, this is a holiday. <laughs> I'm sitting, what? I'm talking about. Yeah me in left field at one it, yeah that's right i was way in left field on a lot of stuff but 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 i do love you guys accent your accents is to me a second to none. yeah yeah well, well well i'm getting used to it now because maybe i did as a young person i didn't appreciate it um a lot most of um our people here or a certain group of us like the rebels um, yeah. um there's a lot of, they had a good reason but one thing that we uh make yourself backward is not appreciating education and yes. sometimes because we, some of us look as an oppression where we're, we're learning their ways but we're going backwards and really we should go about going forward not 18 we should learn the basics among other things and just learn to find out who we are eventually you know, but what happens at some of us over here in England, unfortunately, um, because we didn't really excel in certain education, certain ex education that uh, uh, relate to like, the English literature, for example, yeah. which I'm a little bit behind, but because we saw it as a Babylonian thing. Oh, okay. So, 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 so I even... Yeah, so, so there's a difference yeah. between us Americans and over here. Okay, so, so, so even with now... Are you around a lot of people that speak Welsh? No, um, I, 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 I've, I've come across people who speak Welsh, 
Okay. But I'm a, but I'm around with people who do speak uh pronounced English, proper English. I Ooh. grew up with them, yes. Ooh. Um yeah. but end of the day, um <clears throat> it doesn't stop the individuals, especially the young, you know. Oops. Yeah. It's all right, the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You black. were saying something. No, Sorry. Right. So you said you said you know, people that speak proper English. See, I don't like being around. I, I used to. Oh, have to be, I think I know what's happening. Yeah, I used to have to be in a, a meeting with one, and I didn't like being around them. Cause when they oh okay yeah yeah they that a whole different ball game. Yeah, but it's important for people to like i said is if it, uh, our parents teach us to evaluate um education um, like i said um i could speak from my little experience and, of, and my observation certain people over uk because sort of you care in uk um like i said some uh, remind of some of us grew up thinking we're, we're going to learn the oppressor's way okay that's why we use the term babylon but anyway, got, coming back now, um, it wasn't far from the truth. How we go about it okay. was so, wrong. So, so now tell me this, because my wife, my wife like it down Sorry? there. How far are you from Harris? Yeah. How far are you from Harris? Oh, no, oh, uh, not far. Uh, Paris. You're talking about Paris? No, Harris. That, that shopping place, Harris. Harris. Oh, Ar Arabs, you mean? Yeah. Arids. It's actually Arids. Oh, no, I'm, away. I'm about um eight miles now. I'm Dang. eight miles from Arids. Um, yeah, I, I'm now at South London. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're in South London. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Norbury. Yeah. Hold oh, on. Yeah. I'm on live. Jake has oh, my daughter's shouting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it. But yeah. But man. Yeah. But you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm we're in London, but South Park. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but I, London boroughs. Yeah, I, I love you guys' accents, and you know, but to me, still, yeah, we, some of the nicest people is down there. The only thing what I don't like about when I was trying to get it, me and my wife were gonna ride the tube around just to get kind of. You don't yeah. even see the tube. You got to go in something <laughs> and go down because you don't see you don't see tube nothing. That that was, that's right. Yeah, that would crack us up. So we were looking for it. We could find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yes, it, I know so, it. So, yeah, no, the tube, tube right there. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, it, it, it's good. Your, um, what you're doing is very important and it's good because you expose a lot of things. And there is a, obviously, as you aware, you and the elders, uh, team of elders aware, there's a lot of awakening. The, the last, well, I, I already only, I've only known it's the last 10 years. Okay. Yeah, uh, so, well, six years. So I'm, I'm blinded to what happened in the past. So while I'm, so while I'm going through memory lane, so to speak, I'm, I'm, I'm I just, I'm astounded to, I'm, I just feel a bit, a little bit astonished to the certain things what's happening. Okay. As it, how it come up. So, are you, um, are you, are you part of our class? Because if not, yeah, um, yes. If I'm, not, if we, um, the, go to, um, send me an email to where I can tie you into the class. No, I'm 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 part of the class. I think okay. I'm part of the class, but I, what's happened? I mean, I've stalled myself um, three months, basically, because um, I've been doing something totally different. Okay. And I've been listening, but I haven't. I've started uh, the 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 first bit on the web page, and I haven't finished on the the presets, so to speak. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So uh, what I do, I'll um, yeah, and I remember I. I, I I'll cause problem if I re re register myself twice. Okay. Okay. So yes. Okay. So I'm a shame. Uh, oh gosh. So my microphone's too low. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and and go out. But um, but yeah, my man, I, I appreciate talking to you. Stay with us. Um, and and then uh, so you yeah. so you Randolph, Rudolph. Yeah, I'm Rudolph. I'm the one that you said Rudy. Yeah, but yeah, I'm Rudy. Rudolph. That's yeah, my real yeah, name. Yeah, Rudolph. Yeah. Americans do call me Randolph. That's right. Yeah, or you call me um Adolf. Huh? <laughs> Adolf. <laughs> oh no, we'll tell you what. You can't answer a question for me before I let yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. 
wife was down there, we'd be down. Why yeah. why do people hate Germany so much from there? Um, good point. I don't know fully, but I, I, I can. Um, it's sorry. You mean the among the English or? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm talking about. They got a hatred for them that is unreal. Nah, it's to do with the war. Where it is, it's only small mi minority. Is are you? Uh, yeah, it's really minorities, but it's to do with the war. Um, they weren't happy of the. Uh, the, the rise of Nazi Germany, basically. So they always saw yeah. them as an enemy. I think it's a small thing. There's a lot of people who don't think like that, okay. like Germany. So um, you have a different perspective, maybe over there in America, but actually the more of the truth to matter was minorities didn't like Germany. Majority liked Germany, okay. let alone our, um, our, um, there's a lot of governance of have German descent anyway, uh, let alone our queen, for example, where mm -hmm. she, she, she has a German. So um, it's a do of a war thing. It might, it's a do of a war thing, World War II. Yeah, yeah, so, it, so, so, it, so, so I tell you, you know, but there was like, right, it's just simple rivals. I tell you, rivals what you of power. Can, if we can, if you can give us your queen, we'll give you our president. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave it as it is and let the prophecy for, <laughs> take its course, give what which your, is happening right now. Give us your queen and we'll give you our president. Oh, no. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> like I said, I want to let a bad is I'm going to let the scripture uh, um, uh, fulfill its, and its course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, hey. So, hey. Always we're going back. Okay. I won't go forward. Okay, so it's been, it's been a joy. It's been a joy talking with you. It's been a joy talking with you. It's been joy, excellent. Yeah, just one little thing. Oh, oh, okay, um, was it? There's there is something that the English did like. Um, Britain. Uh, they did they, they like something that was of Caribbean, which is why it was implemented successfully. Um, and Britain has become more international, similar to America, but more international, international, more global than America. So, um, although I don't forget, uh, as a minority, that end of the day, UK birth, USA. Mm -hmm. You, uh, nevertheless, um, I can see USA, uh, UK. I've already had something special relationship. Always will be, but I think things will change a bit. I don't know how it is, but the more global than America. I mean, America is sort of global, but it's hard to put it. Um, there are similar similarities to both of them, and um, <clears throat> like I said, I see more Caribbean imports in there than the import of um, African American okay. in the USA. Um, the only difference is that it's bigger. Um, so USA is a lot bigger. They think bigger. Big dreams is fine. Uh, with UK, uh, I compare that to U U USA, more conserved, very subtle. They don't make big things, but yeah, nevertheless, yeah. they yeah, but keep but things got, tight. But y'all got more money than us. Yeah, well, I don't know, but it's, you're probably right. But it's, at the end of the day, it's a small UK, but you're right, maybe. Yeah, but yeah. um, yeah, you got poor. You go over there by the Queen, y'all driving Rolls Royces like they Toyotas. Well, well, I don't know. Oh well, no, he's. Uh, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that. Anyway, oh. I mean, <laughs> one thing for uh, one thing for sure is that <clears throat> um, Marcus Garvey made a serious impact. Of it was only the first of putting the whole millions of people. And I must admit, I, when I was going through certain notes. And I end up coming out of the church, and I, I, I look back and I realize no one couldn't answer that bit. And before I came to um, came to your uh, classroom or I discover you, then I realized oh wait, there is a link. Very interestingly, you, uh, Malcolm X, you had uh, King, uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, Malcolm X and you and uh, Martin Luther King uh, both have a link because their parents were Garvanite, Garvanites, mm -hmm. and. Hard to believe, but that is the case, at least as far as my research go. Um, <clears throat> and, um, and then you 
there was something else I noticed. Uh, he, um, he came over to America. America rejected him. And then he came over again. And that's, and that's when everybody um, uh, came to uh, Garvey. And, and I thought, that's interesting. Um, I forgot. I just, sorry, I lost my thoughts. <laughs> the point is, is that there's a link. What I've noticed that... Um, Last the church couldn't answer it. Uh, I didn't even bother. But when I've gone through the scripture for myself, I realized, wait a minute, I can't dismiss this figure that came uh, that done something historically, mm-hmm. but he had he played a significant part for today, small but enough. And um, and I could see that the the how the prophets will I mean basically we be galvanized together. So Okay. I'll leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> I All forgot right. what, there's something I was going to say. But anyway, but thank you, um, Elder Johnson and, and family. Thank you. Right, I, I'm now um, look at the background. Step okay. back. Right. So Elder Willie. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ian, Ian, Deacon Smith, Deacon Smith, Deacon Smith. Did you get any change on that, brother? That brother. Nah, he never came up. Yeah, I'm trying to sit there and see. Uh, Shalom. Yeah, Shalom. How you doing, my brother? I'm, yeah, I see. Uh, um, and yeah, this is. I want to know who it is because he act like he personally know me. Yeah, and then he get mad like it's like that. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't get that at all. You know, I'm sitting there like, dang, he ain't said nothing disrespectful. He's always oh, like that. I'm saying, dang, the dude ain't <laughs> disrespectful. All you said like is, like, I owe him some money or something. Yeah. Yeah, yo, it's like that. I'm, oh man, this. Yeah, I don't think. Um, I don't think it must be somebody that used to be in the congregation, though. Yeah, somebody. he said he was. Yeah, he said he was. But but still, they can come out. Okay, if you had that viewpoint, come on. What we're saying is, come on, make the statements, prove it with your precepts, and we're good. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know how the system works. Yeah. So if he's from back, if he says he was back, he already know. We're going to give you the floor. And you know, you had a you had a brother that's that's out in London, you know, it's late in the evening. You don't want him to wait until the middle of the night. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, it is. Okay, we got somebody got what about the prophecy in uh in Isaiah 4 1? Okay. What does Exodus talk about taking another wife? So they sitting there, people posting scriptures. I'm not going to entertain them scriptures back there. And on the YouTube side, you come back here and we're entertaining. And they post the scriptures on that side. So I'm not going to even go to them, look at them, not, even though I know what two of them are already talking about verbatim. But I'm not going to entertain them whatsoever until they come over here. So yeah, I see brother, uh, brother Small, he on both sides. I see him... <laughs> He's on, he doing both sides. Trying to trying to um, get them over here and not not let Wormwood get the best of them today. Yeah, I don't think we. I think we're in this fishing hole, but I don't think we're gonna get anything. You know, um, got brother. Who is this? Nino. Um, Bryant. Wanted to know if it was just for the priest. Okay, Neil, I don't see. Where did he put that at? It's at the top prior to the scripture I put that on. Okay, let me go up there one second. Nino, where is where you at? So it said, if he take another wife, food, her food, her remnant, her duty of marriage, he should not diminish. Okay, so again, JJ, JJJ, okay, that's somebody who I want to come in the back. See, because again, see, they they making statements. He's using Exodus 21.10. And see, the perfect thing to do to always catch the right fish, leave certain scriptures out for them to use them to come back there. However, they don't want to come back there. So evidently that fish is real cautious about 
something wrong with this verse. <clears throat> even though nothing is wrong with the verse. Because I left a bunch of verses out. I even left a simple verses out that, that, that they sit there. I didn't use the bishop should be a husband to one wife. I didn't use deacon should be. I didn't use none of that stuff. Because I didn't want to sit there and make it seem like elementary. Because that's milk. Because it's telling you clearly right there. They went to these scriptures. So all I'm saying is, JJJ, come in the back and, and, and enlighten us on this scripture. That's all we're saying. We, we ain't saying nothing more. Enlighten me on that scripture. Because clearly, we know what Deuteronomy 17, 17 says. So either God lied or Moses Miss Miss wrote it and he lied. Somebody lied. <laughs> no, and I paid attention when the most high says to Miriam that Moses is my most faithful servant. Yeah. Oh, oh, so then God lied twice. Yeah, right afterwards. So that so that means we need to go to him and tell him personally, why did you lie? You see how silly this sound? We gonna go to God and just yeah, why you lie? So, since we can entertain this, cause I'm gonna get ready to come off in one second, cause I see they they stand on this side, which is comical within itself. So I'm gonna pull this up. Let me pull this up, and I'm gonna show. I'm gonna pull his. I'm gonna actually pull his verse. That the verse he wants. And, and we'll we'll put it up there for him. They want Exodus 21. 10. Exodus 21 10. And I'm going to pull it up. Okay. So now let me let me let me share the screen with them. And uh on one second, let me bring up uh I got to bring up Sutton. I got one second. Okay, Elder Sutton, you can go ahead and talk while I'm pulling this verse up. Okay, yeah, I kind of missed the class today and was wondering. Um, yeah, what's okay. up? Okay, now can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I was able to hear you the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering about the situation we was talking about, about our class and all this. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have that brought up platform so we can discuss this and get this over with? Which class? Uh, about what's going on with our situation with Dana Talley and the rest of them. I thought this, we were going to get this settled today uh, out here in the open. Yeah, I don't, you want to tell you what, we had to take it offline to see what you're actually talking about, because we actually talking about uh, the extra wives. Okay, that's all numbers and everything's been changed, so I don't know how to get in contact with anybody. Yeah, because that's what this is about. That's what this thing is about. This is about uh, having a uh, mar marrying extra wives. Oh, good topic. Good topic. So, okay. Yeah. So um, you're telling me after after this, we will figure out how we're going to get everybody together to discuss our yeah. problem with the yeah yeah we can yeah we can talk, all that. yeah we we can talk right after right after I come off of here. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we can talk yeah because this one here was on um was on uh this uh. These, these pastors talking about you can have many other wives. Oh, okay. Okay, got you. Okay. Got you. Uh, can I ask Deacon DeForest if he can give me a call afterwards? Yeah, he can hear you right there. Okay, Deacon DeForest, I'll, I'll send you my phone number and you can give me a call afterwards, my brother. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. All right, thanks, Ella. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we had uh we had Exodus twenty one ten. Was anybody listening to that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Exodus twenty one ten. We're looking at it says, if he take another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall not diminish. This is what they. Yeah, that's what I told him. I just told him. I thought we were supposed to be discussing the problem that we had with Elder Johnson. What is what is going on here? So, 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 so the same thing is, 
is what this happening right here. So what we need to do is find out. What do this say? And we need you to come in the back. I don't see nobody coming. See, he still will not come in the back. No back. Let me see. Is that an extra person? Nope. So I guess we don't I guess we don't see nobody to where he wanna actually JJ don't want to come in the back. We cannot get JJ. I guess he will not come in the back. Still no back. Okay, we got one more. I'm gonna check. Ecclesiastes two 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 eight to twelve. Commission of guilt or an act of repentance of Solomon. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, you get in the back, you just click on the link that's below, but we're getting ready to go out because we've been sitting here for a little bit more than an hour and we cannot get no one to come in. So that's uh, C Black, we, we can't get nobody. Yeah, the Zoom link is is right is right there. So I don't think we is all you have to do is look below and it's right there. So if you come in, uh, brother Black, you come in, <clears throat> might only be back here about another five maybe five minutes, and that's about it. So, so not much more. Uh, still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to see this other one. Um, actually, I, got, I think I got it up there. Let me see. I never claimed to come in the back. I asked, where's the lesson? You did so I can see as you are exposing. Oh, okay. So it's the same name. So uh, this is to JJJ. Okay, you're gonna see the same name, which I gotta change this name here and just put the response. But then the other one has the same name. So you're gonna see two names. So that's the only that's the only difference. So right now they're two same because what we did, we had to fire up because somebody wanted to answer us. We fired it up and they didn't come back here. Yeah, and then they have to get rid of, yeah. And some of the, hopefully the wives see this. That's one of the main points. No, okay, so you can sit there and say, I believe in one wife for one man, because every example, many wives, there's turmoil between the women. Well, the main thing is the most high God, same thing. He said that he's married to us and we sitting there whoring around with other guys. Why do you think we're in confusion right now? You're actually making a beautiful statement. <clears throat> and this is uh, Nino Bryant <clears throat> making a beautiful statement. That's why we're in a state of confusion as it is. Why? Because we're horn around with other gods. Yeah. Yeah. This daughter of the Most High Yah, that's their way of baiting you. And actually, she can sit there and say this all she wants to. You know, ain't nobody trying to bait you. He said he just wanted to find out something in the daughter of the Most High Yah. All you have to do is come back here. But again, you know, it's people like you who, who just sitting there. If that's something that you believe in, if you believe in multiple wives and you want them, hey, so be it. That's your thing. Is it according to God? No, that's clear. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's 
see. Um, yeah, we have no other ones. So what we're going to do. Yeah, look like, yeah, we're not getting anything. So what we're going to do, you guys, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end it, but I appreciate, let me see. Uh, uh, we appreciate uh, everybody who watched it, but then, yeah, we'll share this and uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, Elder Johnson, can I ask something, please? Yeah. Oh. No, it's, it's, it's something that we spoke about last week uh, when we, was, we were talking on, uh, on Zoom. Um, mm -hmm. You asked me to send you a, an, an address of uh, where I stay. I was just checking if maybe you got the email. You want to tell you what? I, one second. And I did not get it. You want to, uh, shoes. You want to tell you what? Let me send you my information in, in, in Zoom. And then you can respond to that to what we can do it probably better. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. So so what we're gonna do, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and end it. Do I got one sin? Yeah, um, this is Jesse asking a question, but I don't know what your question is. So I'm gonna bring you up, Jesse, and and Jesse, you actually up to where you can actually talk. However, if it's about the multiple wives, yeah, you, you, everybody want to know. That's what this form is. So if it's about. Shabbat Shalom, Elder. How are uh -huh. you doing? Right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, my brother. So if everything's cool, that's what, that's what the form is. Yes, absolutely. I agree with you. Um, got a lot of confirmation on the Lord's Sabbath day regarding this topic the last six months. Mm -hmm. And, um. My question to you is in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, 8 through 12, I just wanted to clarify what uh, an act of repentance or remembrance truly is. So would that be considered just an admission of guilt or? Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes where? Uh, chapter 2, okay. verses 8 through 12. Okay, let me go there. Let me go there. Even though I know pretty much kind of what it was saying, but I still like to go there. 2 through 12. Eight, 8 through 12, chapter 2, 8 through 12. Yeah, it says, and gather me unto the seal. Actually, let's, let, let me pull my script. Let me pull it up. Because then after I do you, I just go ahead and go out. So because it seems like you don't want to seem like a talk to us. So we'll talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know where to go for some answers, Elder. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so 8 through 12, it says, so gather me all the silver and gold in peculiar treasure of kings, and of the prophet it says, and, and get me men singers, women singers, and uh, delights of some men as musical instruments, and and uh, and that all sorts. So I, I I was gathered and increased more in all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also, and also my wisdom remained with me, and uh, whatsoever my eyes desired, I kept. I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, and my heart rejoiced in my labor. Okay. And this was my portion in all my labor. Then I looked in on the, all the works of my hand and, and was wroth, and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit and there were no profit under the sun. And I turned myself and behold, wisdom, madness, folly, for what can the man do that cometh after the king, even that which have, or have been done, already done. So you wanted to see what was going on here. Yes, Elder. Yeah. Wanted to know if that was like technically an act of, or an admission of repentance, knowing what he had done wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's two things. So I can actually see, I would even break this down tomorrow. If you, if we were to know this person was going to play this game, I literally would have broke this down. Okay. We're going to look at verse eight. 
kind of just a real quick overview of what's happening. It says, it says, and I gathered me silver, gold, and peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. Do you know what that's actually talking about? Got me, sir. No, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. Remember this, my brother. Anytime I do that, only, only do that for one reason. I tell you that to where I know, if you don't know, I can tell you to where me and you are gonna always be on the same page. That's why I, do. I don't do that in ever, never in disrespect. Absolutely, understood, Elder. No, I don't know what it's okay. talking about. So, 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 so let's see what that part is talking about real quick. I'm gonna pull up another one real quick and we're gonna see what's happening. Let me see, let me pull this one up and we're gonna get there, one second. And I'm gonna pull this other one up. Let me, f and we're gonna find out exactly what's going on because precepts and and affiliations is the biggest key in the Bible. It's knowing what affiliations are. That's what people like to hate and they and they, they fight against. Now, it tells you right here. Before I go there, we see in verse ten. I mean, in verse eight, it says it gathers gold and silver and peculiar treasure. Correct, of kings and in, in yes. Okay. Now I want you to read for me. We're in Exodus chapter 19, and I want you to read for me verse 5. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Okay, so now let's go back here to, 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 to your verse. So now when he's sitting there talking about gold and silver and peculiar treasure, what are you talking about? Israel. I ain't got to say anything. This part right here is talking about the children. Ah. So the whole verse eight is referring to the children of Israel. I, I don't have to say, I, like I said, when you use, right. I, ain't I mean, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I'm talking about when, when you use precept, I don't have to say a word. You, you literally start answering it for yourself. And that was Exodus uh, 19 verse five. 19. Now, 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 watch this. Treasure of whose? Kings and providences. So, kings and providences means what? My guess, I don't know exactly. I'll just tell you that straight <laughs> off the bat. But land okay. masses, if area. King, so, if a king is over a place, he's mm -hmm. what? He's the he's ruler. The ruler of that region, yeah. Okay. So it's telling you that providence is, is what? Still locations. Correct. Now, where are we? We all over the place, aren't we? Scattered all over to the four corners. Read that, read verse eight again. And I gathered me also. Hold it, hold it right there. Gather. What you, yep. need to gather. what you need to gather? Gather to bring back. Read on. Me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces uh, being the children who are scattered in these areas. You just said ah, so you just caught it. That was, uh -huh. I don't have to say anything. Absolutely, look at that. Yeah, and guess what? And gather me, what, men singers and women singers. And what is, is there a particular break? I mean, I know Israel's specific, I mean, they're known for having pipes. Mm -hmm. And that would make perfect sense. Clarify. Yeah, but 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 always remember. So same thing. Like if um you commit sin, mm -hmm. how do you repent? Well, I got to first look to the to the law and see, and the law will bring it back to remembrance. Okay, and 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 actually, the law. All you have to do. That's why he'll tell you you repent. He all he's saying remember. Actually, let's go here. We're going, I'm going to show you this and then go out. See, this way, I'm, you know you're going to get me in trouble with my wife because <laughs> that's all right. I'm going to blame it on you, too. You're going to get me in trouble with my wife. But but but, but one second. I'm going to go here in um, one second. Elder Sutton, yeah. One second. One second. One, one second. You keep putting this up. One second. One second. Were you still going to break it down tomorrow, that, that particular 
question. No, no, I'm going to break it down in one second. He putting this thing up. I want to see what's going on. Real quick. Yeah, Elder Sutton? Elder Sutton? I can't hear you. Elder Sutton, can you hear me? All of a sudden, can you hear me? Hmm. All of a sudden, can you hear me? Okay, let's let's finish it out. <clears throat> so everything is based on remembrance. Now, that's your key. Everything is based on remembrance. So let me go here and let me pull this back up real quick before we go out. And, oh yeah, we still got it up. So you can still see my screen, right? Yes, yes I okay. can. So this is one that's plain and simple, besides going in um, the hardcore law to how to figure it out. <clears throat> the New Testament is mainly commentary. It explains a lot of the law. Mm. That's, what yeah. that's what the New Testament really is for. That's why you even see Yahweh Shai say it is written. He's referring you back to the law, but then you see he explains it. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, simplifying it for to help bring those that exactly uh, were Hellenized back into remembrance. You ain't boy. Now you use the perfect word Hellenized because that's that's exactly what he's talking about. So watch what it, watch what happened here. In verse one, it says, "For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, not the very image of the things." Can never those sacrifices which offered year by year continually make newcomers unto perfect. Now, by the law, were we supposed to offer those by the law? Uh, he did not require the, he did not command the fathers of sacrifice. Was that your question? Yep, exactly the point. But you but you actually answered it. Because if you go to Jeremiah chapter 7, start at verse 21, I was going to pull it over there if you didn't know, but you already know what it is. You over there, you'll see. That's exactly what it's talking about. Because it was never required, but he's telling you, since everything belonged to him, he said, if yeah, if you're gonna bring me something that's already mine, you better not bring me some junk. That's yeah. what he's saying. You bring me some junk, I got a problem. So now watch this. Then verse two, because you're gonna see how you're gonna break all this down with, with the remembrance. He says, for then would they not have ceased to be offered because that worshipers once purged should have no more conscience of sin. All he's saying is, once you have sinned and it comes to your remembrance, he's not excusing you from being guilty. But once you come to that remembrance, all he's saying is what? Remember it, don't do that no more. So now you know, not, same thing you get a little baby and the baby sit there, you know, hot. Cause that's what I, I when my kid was little, that's the only thing I tell him. Anything I didn't want him to touch, I just tell him hot. I don't care what it was. No, no, hot. They, that's all they knew was hot. They mm -hmm. didn't burn. That's the same thing in saying. So we shouldn't have no more conscience of, of, of doing that sin. Meaning what? Whatever we told them what not to do, they should have conscience not to do it. Oh no, no, that's sin. I'm not dealing with. It. That's all he's saying. So we shouldn't have no more conscience of doing that anymore. But the problem is this: within those sacrifices, there's a remembrance of again made a sin every year because we continue to do the same sin. We continue to remember. We know it's sin, but we still sin. Still keeping that carnal side to the law rather than operating in the spirit. Exactly the point. We still, no matter what, we still do it. I don't care what we do, we still do it. Revolving so then, door syndrome. Yes. You what you call it? Revolving door syndrome. <laughs> I ain't never heard that one. I like that one. Uh, but let's, yeah, but now let's go to verse four. It says, for it is not possible for the blood of bulls and of goats to take away sin. So the same thing when you see Jeremiah chapter 7, 21, he already told you, this can't do it. So yep. why are we offering, why when we go do a sin, why are we taking an animal and then go sacrifice? So an animal is dying for nothing. So let's give ourselves like Abel. <laughs> okay, you just answered the question. What do verse 5 say? Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he says, sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. You just answered your own question. Why? 
you can go right down here to Romans to even get more clarification because Paul the one was really breaking this down, but Paul breaks stuff down according to the law. But Romans, what do one twelve say? One in uh, a twelve and one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. What part do we did we have to explain anything to anybody? No, absolutely not. It's all right there in the scripture, precepted correctly. He never took nothing out. I never said, well you can do this and you know, you shouldn't do this this way. And what I do, I try to use his same language when I speak to people, what he's doing here. I try, you know, most of time I bring some stuff in today's time, but I'm gonna still base it on this time because no matter what, I'm gonna have to show you this and where I'm bringing it from. And if I'm telling you something that's different from the scripture, I'm the liar. The scripture is never a liar. I'm always the liar. If, no. I, if I tell you something and you sit there and you see this and you saying, dang, this is different from what he's saying. And if I, say, if I sit there and say, well, <laughs> this is written, you know, it got a few errors in there. No, the Bible is true. I'm the liar. Let every word of God be true. Every man be a liar. Exactly the point. So long as you keep that. So long as I keep this this way and I can explain it this way, you like it or dislike it, it doesn't matter. Because right. if you got a problem, I'm going to sit there and tell you, you go talk to him. Don't talk to me about it. I'm just showing you what it is. And the reason he said you got to be holy and acceptable to God is this. Watch, same thing. We, we don't have to, I don't have to say anything. And I'm going to have you read verse 16. And then I'm going to have you read 17. What do 16 say? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwelleth in you? So you got to keep it holy. You got to keep your body holy. But what if you don't? What do verse 17 say? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy it. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. And if I tell you God going to knock you off because you acting like this, you acting like that. Did I tell you this? No, sir. Because I know you know exactly what this says. Mm -hmm. So the same I believe Elder T brought up. The problem is this is another problem people have. So he said, you got to keep it holy and acceptable to him, right? We're going to go all the way to the back of the book. And see, and people don't know, Yahweh Shai talks like this. A lot of people don't know this. What do verse 14 say? Blessed are ye that do his commandments, and they have the right to, to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Do it say, blessed the day that's under grace? <laughs> no. Oh, we don't say that, do it. <laughs> Huh? This is blessed that blessed the day that do his commandments, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now watch if you're not doing them. What verse 15 say? For without our dogs. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Yep. If somebody out there ain't doing the commandment, you call them a dog, you're gonna have to either have a gun on you or something. But the Bible telling you you're a dog. That's it. Read, read on. And sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. If you choose not to do them, let's see who's calling you a dog. I Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and the morning star. So he called you a dog if you ain't doing what he told you right there, because he told you this right here. Just he like called said, the woman a dog, didn't he, when they were following yeah. him in the... Uh... He, he's very, man, he, he's blunt as day. Yeah. So we're going to go to 14, 15. What do he say right here? If you love me, keep my commandments. If you ain't keeping them, you're what? You're a dog. Did I say that? No, I didn't say anything. I'm just reading the scriptures. Though I be rude in speech. <laughs> Isn't that what Paul said? Yeah. But people have a problem. Oh, man, who you calling the dude? It is what it is. Go talk to him. That's it. So, just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, yeah. Don't, I'm just delivering. I go, same way I was explaining yesterday to somebody. I go in the back in the kitchen. I get the food that he wants to deliver out. I bring it out. You say, no, I want mine this way. No, you want to. No, I ain't telling him anything. You want something different? You go talk to, you go talk to him. He's the potter. I ain't mm -hmm. nothing to play. 
you don't like what it, this ain't Burger King. You go back there and you try to make it Burger King and, and you're going to turn out just like a Minadab and a Benahu. So you're going to turn Nadab and a Benahu, you might turn out just like them. They decided they didn't want to get the fire from over here. They wanted to get some strange fire and he knocked them both off. Same thing, man, out there picking up sticks. Ain't about that. Was that was that fire, that strange fire? Yeah, they got fire. Uh -huh. He telling him, tell him to get fire, he tell him to get fire a certain way in a certain location. Mm. They choose not to. He brought they brought strange fire in there, he took them out. This is zero sum game. All right. Well, I don't want to keep you elder. I do appreciate it. Uh, praise okay. the most high God of Israel. I do appreciate your uh, your time in answering my question. Hey, I appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate everything. So, and with that, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and go out. So, everybody else, I appreciate everybody else. I seen. Um, right. I guarantee you guys, uh, everybody, a lot of lip probably gonna come out on both of these pages where people gonna be chatting. They wear it all through the, all through the day about they would have challenged this and that and but they wouldn't do it as, as we hear live. So we were here, we spent enough time here, but I see nothing's going on. Yeah, see, and they got, I uh, just want to eat enough with family, now they fight here. No, see, now they fight here. So same thing, we got a Derek Thomas say, we just want to eat only on the Sabbath. We fight enough with family, now they fight here. Ain't nobody fault. We sitting there going against the doctrine, but that just showed you how people can put just a little bit of a seed and try to make it seem like we over here fighting. Ain't nobody fighting what we're doing. We have we we taught a lesson based on having multiple wives. And if somebody say that they they saying that you can't do it, we asking them to bring forward that doctrine. However, he said that's a fight. However, you go on where they sit there and they hold to that type of doctrine. Then you go over there. Yeah, you going to fight because they're going to sit there and say that you're crazy that you can't have that, that you can have as many wives as you want. And at no time here, we ain't, we ain't had no fight with anybody. We want to give them the floor to where they can push their doctor to see what they're coming from, because I'd like to see where they're coming from. However, he says it's a fight. So Derek Thomas, <laughs> Derek Thomas. And yeah, and, and Brother Pierre said it the best. So do that and do the whole duty of man. So with that, I will sit there and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of uh, this here, but it seemed like we had no takers. So until next time, well, actually until tomorrow, where we'll be going through Romans, we'll be tearing down Romans some more. I will see you guys on tomorrow. With that.